This is Weller Does Delmarva, and we are on our own radio station right now, which is Fine Day Radio, Fine Day Radio, and we have these stickers for you, okay? Linda's taking a picture first. Picture first. Okay, here we go. We are picture worthy, okay? Yeah. But these stickers, we got them. They're free for the asking. We'll mail them to you if we need to. Mm -hmm. Um, If you want to buy our lunch, we may deliver them. It's hard to say. But anyway, FDR, Fine Fine Day Day Radio. Radio. Yes. We got them. We went through our first um, box of them. I've got another box of them now. And uh, I got more magnets on order. So uh, we're moving through stuff. Oh, All yeah. right, and, and we've got a, another big project coming up. We got a, what's that? A van, a station van. Oh, coming up. that's right. Do and we then, want to offer any advertising on the van? I would say no. No, I would say no. Uh, I don't think idea. so. I don't. That think would so. not be a good idea. No, no. I think okay. we just we you know it's a fine day radio, fine day one zero two three van. Yeah, it's going to have the logo on it. Yeah, might have your and my business on it. We're not yeah. sure yet. No, um, we are sure. Oh, you're we sure. We are going to do that. Okay. You have the windshield. I'll have the rear v- <laughs> okay. the back window. Okay. <laughs> okay. So no. Um, in other words, so um, we yep. got a van. We got a van. We're going to we wrap it. Yep. We're going to start doing a few outside events. Some Is that remotes. Correct? Remotes. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're going to do the bug. And Bud Festival. You got that right. You got. I it got right it right. There, yeah. One time, I got it right. You okay. Did. Good job. Bug and Bud Festival, yep. April the bugs twenty. Come before the Bud. Something. April twenty something. Twenty okay? seventh, I think it. That's is. election it day. Right. Wait a minute. It's is the that? election day in Milford. It is the twenty seventh. Yeah. It is. So, so we uh, are going to do a live remote in April. Right. On the twenty seventh, somewhere in Milford. Mm. Okay. Right. Yep. I think uh, so, yeah. yeah we got to finalize it with uh, DMI, Downtown Milford. DMI. Sarah DMI. over there. She's doing a fantastic job fantastic for DMI. Job. So, Sarah uh, LeBright. And I've got an email I have to respond to from her. So, okay. So uh, if you're watching Sarah, I will get back to you this week. In Come the on. next 30 days. Yes. Okay. Next 30, right. <laughs> In the next 30 days. All right. So anyway, but we yes. got some other events we're thinking about doing. So, um We'll see. So this if crowd is rowdy today, it's I can't crowd, even hardly it's hear It's crowdy. You. It's Man. crowdy, rowdy. Hey, so we're for hire, I guess. Also, would you say that? Um, I to get, do yeah. a broadcast or no? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. If you so, feel like it. Yeah, I think so. It's all on You're the whim that, of Denise? Jim. The whim of Jim. The whim of Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the whim of Jim. Does so Jim maybe like let's it? put it like this: if you this. if you own a business uh-huh. or have an event that we can do. From what, 11 to 1, did we say that? Or, or no? 11 to noon. 11 to 1, 11 to noon. Yeah, somewhere in there. Saturday. Depends on if you want to hire us for one hour or two. Yeah. But we are for hire. Let's put it like that. Okay. All right? Okay. Yep. And the more money you throw at us, the more cooperative we'll be. <laughs> the the more right. Jim whims. <laughs> right. Jim's whim. <laughs> he All whims right. more with more money. Can we money, talk about Wednesday, too? Uh, yes. Yeah, so Wednesday, we do a live show. It's called Jim Weller Live. Yep. Every it is, Wednesday. It is in Seaford, Delaware at the Golden Eagle, Eagle Diner. Yeah, man. And uh, you have guests on. What else oh, do you it's do? Oh, it's been going good. It's been going words, real good. We've had some people give us some giveaways. So if you got some things you want us to give away for yeah. you at the Eagle Diner, we'll do it. you got to come on. On the show, though, I w- yeah, I'd you like for come, him to come on, the show. on and talk about. Yes, not just so hand us not a bunch just hand of stuff, stuff to distribute. So, right, but if you want to be on, let me know. Um, I'm doing better at doing five minute interviews instead of ten. Yeah, and I got a nice timer with big numbers, and I think I'll be able to uh, get my act together and have more guests. We've had some people say. I can't wait till August to get on your show. That's a little bit of a long time. Right. I yeah. said, well, what about July? And they're like, yeah. no, you got to shorten it. You got to make it so I can get July on it in a few weeks or two. So yeah. uh, we're working on that. So we have we have a, an opportunity for a lot of people to do a lot of things. Um, I hear the music. So okay. Anyway, right. so if well, you have any you. questions about anything, you blew through my time like nothing. I did like yeah. nothing. Like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. All right. So anyway. If you have any questions about anything I might have been talking about, just call me on my cell phone, 302-542-9157. Okay? Good morning to my Delaware 1059 audience. It's Jim Weller, and you're listening to a live show called Weller Does Delmarva. I got to do a commercial segment. This is a sponsor segment for my insurance man. This is uh, one of my uh, advertisers, and that is L&W Insurance Agency. And I love dealing with L&W. You hear me week after week after week tell you 
I like dealing with L and W. Why? Because they give me great service. Anybody can sell you insurance. Anybody. You can buy insurance at an eight hundred phone number. But the question is. Do they care about you, and where are they when you have a claim? And that's where L&W excels, okay? L&W sells me life insurance, health insurance. They sell me liability insurance, billboard insurance, uh, property insurance, um, all kinds of things, all right? So if you need insurance, whether it's commercial, whether you're just John Q. Public, and you happen to need a uh, insurance policy for your rental, it's called renter's insurance, you know, if you rent a place. So anyway, all kinds of insurance. It's it's LNW Insurance, lwinsurance.com on the web, and uh, 302-856-7828. That's 302-856-7828. You should dial it in that order. All these phone numbers I give out today, they are best dialed in the order we give them, okay? You'll get the best results. But if you're ever looking for me, just ask them. Everybody knows my phone number by heart. So anyway, but LNW Insurance Agency, lwinsurance.com, been in business over 90 years. I'm not implying that Bill Strickland is over 90 years old. I'm saying he bought the business when he was a youngin, and now they've been in business over 90 years. Okay? All right. Linda Bosco is the picture taker here today. So we're going to smile pretty as if it's our class picture. All right. This is to document everything. The video is not enough. Now we need pictures, okay? So, all right, we have Kyle Schaefer on, and we have Joe Dittmar. Is that correct? That is correct. All right, correct. does Joe have a microphone? Yep. Okay, just check checking with you. All right. There you go. All right, and that and that. Snuggle right up to that thing. <laughs> all right, pretend it's an ice cream cone. Okay. All right, so what's going on? We're going to talk about the rally for our first responders. Is that correct? That's correct. Is it really still coming? It's coming. June 1st? You got it. June I remember it. Man, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> June 1st. It's a Saturday. Is Saturday. that right? And then 12 the to 6. What was that? 12 to 6, gates open at 11.30. No kidding. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is this event? This event is the third annual rally for our first responders. Right. And it is to actually have the community come together. Okay. And give thanks and give back to our first responders. Celebrate them. Celebrate them one day, at least one day of the year, we should celebrate our first responders. Right. And it's also a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser. Trying absolutely. to raise some money to give away. Yep. Is that we, right? We've raised $153,000 in the first two years. Really? And we gave it all away. Well, good job. Thank feels you. good to give it away, doesn't it? It feels wonderful. Wow. All right. So this is at Hudson Fields. Yes. Right off of Route 1. Mm -hmm. Right on Route 1, I guess, right? Right on Route 1. Okay. And what is Joe's... Uh, involvement here. So Joe is going to be our only speaker. You're the only speaker, Joe. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a lot of pressure, isn't it? What was it, 12 to 5? How <laughs> long? That's a, a long time. No, 12 to 6. <laughs> six hours of Joe Dittmar, everybody. <laughs> now that, that would be the worst thing in the world for Kyle. It's going to be a start of a mini-series. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, very good. So what is Joe going to do? Um, announce everybody? So Joe is actually, he has a um, phenomenal story. Um, he was at 9-11. Oh, okay. And he, you were there that day. Yeah, I'm a survivor from the 105th floor to World Trade Center. Hold on. You were in the Trade Center? <laughs> yes, sir. One of seven out of a group of 54 people in the meeting that I was in to uh, survive that day. What so, were you doing there? I'm in the insurance business and uh, uh, working in Chicago at that particular point in time, living in Chicago. And um, it wasn't unusual for any of us that were in executive positions to be called to the World Trade Center because it was like a mecca for the insurance industry. So I was there for a meeting. And you had been there before? Oh, had been there many times before. Were you in the building when the plane hit it? I was on 105 in the South Tower when the North Tower was the first building to be hit and they started to evacuate all of us in the South Tower. They anticipated that the, the event that occurred in the North Tower would probably cause some problems uh, and they started evacuating us. So. Um, what, did they, what did you think had happened? We didn't really know. We were in an enclosed conference room. We didn't hear, see, feel anything. So all of a sudden, a guy came in. Come on a, oh, a guy, a guy came, came into our, uh, our into our meeting and said we had to evacuate. Uh, it was. Um, uh, 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 an aviation event, I guess they thought, in the uh, North Tower. They thought uh, uh, a small plane or something had hit the building, and we were going to evacuate. And 
our building was fine. And we didn't, like I said, we were in an enclosed conference room, no windows, no do just one door. And uh, well, how we did you take know. that? Did you jump up and hustle? Absolutely not. Did you not. finish your coffee? Absolutely I not. I was uh, of the 54 people. I was the last one out of the room. To okay. be quite honest with you, because. We'd all come from different parts of the country, and we were just more perturbed about the fact that we couldn't have the meeting that we were there to attend. Again, not knowing what's going on, that was what the attitude was. It was one of, of, of more being annoyed. But see, every one of you knew. here today knew more what was going on Correct. in and out of those buildings than any TV. of us. That's right, and none of us knew what in the heck was going so on. So you went down steps or an elevator? Steps. Okay, and at any point did you get hustling or no? Uh, yeah, when we were uh, beyond the 78th Sky Lobby level in the, build, in the South Tower, um, when the building got hit. Your building then? When our building now got hit, which was the second building to be hit, we did not realize that's what was going on. We were between floors 74, 73, somewhere in that area, and the plane went through our building between floors 77 and 82. So we were just a few floors below the strike zone. Still didn't think it was a plane that hit you. We just thought at that point, because we had finally been able to see that there was a plane in the North Tower, that that was what was affecting and Maybe shaking our building, or, or, or uh, we thought an explosion of the fuel, uh, we knew it was okay. a big plane, so we thought a fuel cell exploded, that's what made our building shake, that's why we felt this heat ball blowing by us and smelt that jet fuel. Little did we know that just a few floors above us, there was another plane cutting through our So building. at that point, you start picking up the pace? At that point, you start thinking, okay, what's going on? And um, I only want to concentrate on one thing, and that's getting the heck out. You know, and that's so exactly what happened. Are, are you elbow to elbow? What's it like going down the steps? Act actually, not as bad as you might think. Remember, we were on 105, highest occupied level of the building at that time. So we were some of the last people evacuating, coming down and getting okay. out. Okay. Okay. So the gr the crowd of people was not all that bad. It was not. Uh, you would think there would be pandemonium, and it was really was more of a stunned silence when this uh, okay. when the hit occurred, and and. It, it was just, you know, uh, an immediate concentration on we got to get the heck out of here. So What's going on? we get lower down. We get mm -hmm. lower down. At what point do you guys start running? You don't. Okay. Uh, you, okay. You, you really don't. If you try, if you think about it, it took us 50 minutes to get 50 from, minutes from up top at 105 to out of the complex. Yeah, 50 minutes. Oh it's God. a lot of steps. It's a lot of. It's a lot of. Uh, do you get winded? Um, if I did, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, I okay. think. Uh, but know, nobody was passing out with heart attacks. Or uh, anything? There were people. There were people in the tower uh, and in the fire stairwell that we were in that were overweight. Uh, there were people coming out of wheelchairs, uh, crutches, canes, so on and so forth. You make. But, but how did they get down the steps with a wheelchair? Uh, by everybody else, like me. Everybody else helped everybody else. It was. An unbelievable outpouring of loving and caring and of concern that day because that's what we were able to do. We were able to help them uh, physically, help them uh, psychologically, help them emotionally to get out. And, and everybody just became teammates. Was your phone ringing? Cell phones were gone. The, the North Tower, which was first hit, housed the main cell tower for all of Southern Manhattan. So it's not like your family members were calling. And you. they were all trying. Uh, and and so and we were trying to get out, but I, I got to tell you, Jim, that that is one of the beauties of that day. Uh, what we didn't know didn't hurt us. Okay? Correct. Ignorance was bliss. So right. we really didn't have to concentrate on my God, what happened? What we had to concentrate on is help these other people. Let's get the heck out of here. And that's that's really what happened that day in that fire stairwell. And and I got to tell you, since we're, we're we're doing the thing for the first responders, I, I mentioned to Kyle earlier, when we encountered the first responders for the first time, we were at about the 35th floor, uh, when, and they were coming up and we're going down, that's the first time there was any traffic, as it were, okay? okay. And what was amazing about that moment was the, the look in the eyes of those first responders told a story that no words could ever tell, in essence. They were going up those steps to try to save lives that they potentially couldn't save, to put out a fire that they knew they couldn't beat, 
and most of them knew that they were going up those steps and not coming back again and um, how people can be that brave how somebody could be that strong how somebody could be that loving of their brothers and sisters is just absolutely incredible so that's wow. why what Kyle does is so important because the first responders that day uh, from the Port Authority New York Fire Department New York Police Department they saved so many lives while giving up their own it was incredible we're running out of time, but I could talk to you for five hours about this, okay? <laughs> In other words, I could interview you all day long. Um, so you're going to be at the event? I'm going to be at the okay. event and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of my story, and you're right. It, you're from around here? I live in Lewis. Then I'm going to get up with you, okay? Uh, okay. And we'll get more time. So I, I need to switch gears so we make sure we hit the event, okay? Absolutely. So there's sponsorship opportunities still? Yes, okay. absolutely. And, uh, and, so and that's how what does, makes the event happen. Right, because we're raising money to yes. give back to the first responsibility. Yes. Responders, just how Joe said, how they're running in when you're running out at a moment's notice. They don't know what they're even running into. In other words, we need to get behind our first responders. This is a day to visibly do it. Thousands of people are going to show up. There's going to be things. There's going to be food. There's going to be music. There's going to be some auction items. There's Live going to be auction, yeah. demonstrations. 50-50. Right. So Our mark show. your calendar. It is June 1st. June 1st. That's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. At okay. Fields. Mark your calendar if you are in the sound of our voice or even see us. This is a must-attend event. Okay? Yeah. All right. Sponsorship, questions, who do they get hold of? Um, myself, Kyle Schaefer. Okay. And they can go to Kyle Schaefer. Um, I'm sorry, Kyle at SchaeferFoundation.com. Okay. Or they can go to Schaefer Family Foundation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's They can go to the Rally for Our First Responders That's Facebook good enough. page. Yes. All right. Rally for Our First Responders Facebook page. How's yes. that? Perfect. Okay. And all my all info's right. on there. Are you celebrating an anniversary? Did I see a picture of you from 10 years ago or something? That was or 15? 11 years ago, but it's okay. not our anniversary. Oh, our okay. anniversary will be in okay. September. Okay. Well, anyway, congratulations <laughs> either way. All right. So with that said, we are out of time. Did you have something else that we missed? No, just um, support our first responders. And right. We need sponsorships, and that will make the event happen. And because you're more recycling space. all the money yes. right back it into it just goes right donations back to, our, to yeah. certain organizations, all beneficiaries, and, and every year you add more and add so more. on. Add more, yeah. Okay, it's a good day, a fun day. Mark your calendar. Don't miss it. Um, if you need a wake-up call that day, let me know. I'll call you early and remind you. But anyway, um, it's going to be a good day. Joe, I want to thank you for coming, okay? It's great I to be I want to get back up with you. If you could get his phone number before he leaves, I'd appreciate it. Not a and problem. Kyle, I appreciate you and your family and your whole posse of people that are putting this together. It takes hundreds of people to make this happen, so it's, thank you. It's, it takes a village. It does. And you didn't get I, Kyle, I promise I won't talk for five hours. I, <laughs> okay. I, I could do it. I can help you talk for five hours. So Anyway, I, I really want to just learn more about this and, and talk more about it because it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling what our first responders do. We really need to bring awareness to this and get behind them and really support them in a visible, visible, tangible way. Yes. Okay? All right. Anything else? No, that's it. This is the least I've had you talk. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's happy, everybody. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to take this, yes. if you don't mind, okay? Absolutely. I don't want to forget about this. All right. I'm going to let you all go, okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, so you. Much. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. There he goes, Joe Dittmore and Kyle Schaefer. All right. Now, 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 now. What's going on? We're sitting right inside the Sunrise Restaurant. We couldn't be anywhere else. The breakfast is good. I had scrambled eggs. Linda, what did Linda have? What did Jim have? What did anybody have for breakfast? Nobody knows. All right. Well, anyway, Jonathan, what did you have? Scrapple, egg, and cheese. Did you get the steak in the uh, omelet? Sirloin or what is it? Ribeye steak omelet. Ribeye steak omelet. All right, Denise, do I have another guest this minute? No, not right this minute. This is catch up time, everybody. All right, now another sponsor segment Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. Where are they? Lincoln City, Delaware. How long have they been there? 80 some years. Think about it. Fitzgerald's has been serving our community for a long time. And we say thank you for your sponsorship of my show. We say thank you for all the things you do for our community. And thank you for being conscious of recycling. 
Fitzgerald's recycles metal, 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 metal. So if you have some metal, if you have like an old gas grill or an old car or an old refrigerator or appliances, now a couch won't work, okay? So it's got to be metal, metal, metal. So you take it to Fitzgerald's on Route 113 in Lincoln and they buy it. They literally, literally pay you cash right on the spot for junk metal. But if you happen to have a junk car in the backyard and you can't get it to Fitzgerald's, they will come get that from you, okay? And still pay you for it, all right? So anyway, they buy junk metal, scrap metal. They also sell auto parts. Get it? They buy junk cars and then you say, man, I need a motor or a transmission. They might have a car there with only ten or 15,000 miles and they'll sell you the motor or the transmission out of it, whatever you need. So anyway, if you need some auto parts and you don't want to pay the price of new, you can go to Fitzgerald's and they can hook you up, okay? Uh, body parts too, body parts and you know auto parts. So either way, they also sell crushed concrete. Now, that is another recycling thing, taking big chunks of concrete, crunching it up into little fine pellet ties, you know, size pieces of concrete. So people use that, like we sell sheds at Wellers and a lot of people will put crushed concrete down to make a nice platform for their shed. So if you need crushed concrete, whether it's for your driveway or whatever, they sell crushed concrete. So it's Fitzgerald's salvage and recycling, okay? So I say thank you to Scott Fitzgerald and Johnny and uh, uh, Kim and um, Karen. So that's the family there. Uh, they all run it and they do a good job and they've been in business um, since uh, like 1935, okay? All right, Fitzgerald's.us. Phone number 302-422-7584. And this is something they have said for years, that Fitzgerald's recycles things, but only Jesus recycles people. All right, and they are a good, solid, straight-up Christian family, and they do a lot for our community. Right down the road in Lincoln, we've got another good, solid family, Dave and Carolyn Wilson own and operate Wilson's Auction on Route 113 in Lincoln. Now, this is a sponsor segment. So Dave, is a, he's my state senator. That's just on a side note. And he's a good friend, and he's a good community-minded person. Been in business now over 50 years. Over 50 years. Think about that. Some of the people in this room ain't even 50 years old. So anyway, I'm just saying... Dave's been in business over 50 years selling things at auction. He gets it sold under the hammer. So if you got stuff you want to get sold, you give Wilson's a call. It could be a property, and uh, they'll sell your property. Or you could take stuff to them, or they can come to you, whatever you want to do. So on Saturday, today, starting at 10 o'clock today, huge auction right there on Route 113 in Lincoln. But also today, 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 is another auction. And this is at the Harrington Fairgrounds, the Delaware State Fairgrounds, okay? And you, I went by yesterday and looked at it. It is, there's thousands of things out there. So you say, well, what kind of things? There's tools, there's yard equipment, there's lawn mowers, there's combines, there's tractors, there's tractor trailers, there's, I think, campers, boats, uh, everything, sprayers, um, RVs, I already said that, vehicles, there's going to be some low-digit tags, Low-digit tags, active low-digit tags. So today is a good day to go to this auction on Route 13 in Harrington. So you've got Wilson's auction on 113 in Lincoln. And then starting about what time? About 9 o'clock this morning in Harrington is the other one. I see tag number 2201, 2201, okay? Uh, I see C2619. There's another tag. I like this one, 4676. April 6th of 1976. Could be your birthday. Anyway, 4676. So I'm more interested in the tags. But then there's another big auction next Saturday. Next Saturday. Uh, it's the 24th. Is that next Saturday? Sure sounds like it. So anyway, I just want to say, is it the 24th? Is the 24th next Saturday? If today is the 16th, is next Saturday the 24th? I'm not sure. Huh? Okay. Well, this says March 24th. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I read it wrong. I read it wrong. It is March 23rd. Next Saturday at Starkey Farms in Felton. Okay. Uh, starting at 10 o'clock. So look that up. So if you want to figure out what I just messed up, just go to wilsonsauction.com. Click on upcoming auctions. So you've got today in Lincoln. You've got today in Harrington. 
You've got next Saturday in Lincoln, and you've also got next Saturday at Starkey Farms in Felton. And every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, you've got an auto auction you can buy and sell just like the dealers do. Any questions, just go to Wilson's Auction on Facebook or wilsonsauction.com, okay? Now, what else is going on? Weller's Utility Trailers is going to be open today. We've had a really nice year so far. That's been exciting. Uh, I'm going to open the phone lines real quick. Is there anybody out there that would like a couple gift cards to Vanderwinds? you got to call me quickly. Two Vanderwinds gift cards. We're going to give them away all morning long. Phone number 302-422-7336. If you're out there and you want a couple gift cards to Vanderwinds, call me right now. I'll set them aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. And you can pick them up next week, Tuesday through Saturday, all right? 302-422-7336. We got about a minute left. If you want to call, call right now. 302-422-7336. Rapid fire. One phone call after another. 302-422-7336. If you want two gift cards to Vanderwins, they're good at all their locations. They don't have an expiration date. And um, we got them right here for you for free. You pick them up at Weller's next week. Tuesday through Saturday. If anybody wants a couple. Caller, are you there? Yeah. Hey, who am I talking to? Uh, Tim from Selbyville. Tim, T-I-M? Yeah. All right. You know where Weller's is? Of course. All right. And uh, how are you doing today, Tim? Uh, terrific. Terrific. Heading to the parade in OC. Oh, St. Patrick's Day parade. Yeah, man. All right. Well, have a good time. If you see anybody I know... Tell them hi for me, okay? Oh, all right. Thank you, man. I got your name on the list, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. That's how it goes, folks. 302-422-7336. If you want a, um, if you want, um, I don't know what happened. 302-422-7336. We got time for one more caller. Two gift cards to Vanderwins. No big deal, but it's a couple gift cards to Vanderwins. You can use them at any location. So we say thank you to Vanderwins for your sponsorship of the show. Uh, they got four locations in Bridgeville, out on 404, right inside Greenwood, Dewey Beach, and Fenwick Island. All right. Vanderwind's Farm Creamery, Vanderwind's Ice Cream. Check them out. It's really good. All right. With that said, I said Weller's is going to be open at 8 o'clock. We got a busy day planned. Looks like a nice day outside. And um, I just want to say thanks for tuning in the show. If you ever want to join me on the show, if you own a business, uh, I got a couple new businesses coming on board. So um, if you own a business and uh, you want to you want to reach my audience and you say, well, wh who is your audience? Well, we've been doing this show now over 10 years. I got a very loyal audience. We're taking a break from uh, Delaware 105.9. So I need my 105.9 listeners to switch over to Jim Weller on Facebook right now. I don't want you to miss anything. We'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, now to my other audience. We're still with you right here, my Fine Day Radio and TV Delmarva, folks, and Facebook and YouTube. We are still with you right here. Myself, Colin Walls, is going to join me in a minute, and we're going to talk about Wall Service Center, downtown Milford, the road construction that never ends is right in front of Colin's yeah, business. Yep. Never it's kind ended. of a thing. It's a it's a Delaware thing. It's a little bit of a joke, but it's, it's fun to watch, everybody. It's it, fun to watch. You know, it's yeah, it's been a mess there and it I, mean, I think I can it's say a reality sure, TV show in it the has, making. It has affected our business and oh, I, I'm just, sure. I would love to just them to get it done. This is this will be the fourth summer coming up. If they're still working on it this summer, That'll be the fourth summer. Well, here's the good thing. You're not the only business affected, and that creates a class action lawsuit. Yeah. So you just, <laughs> right. in other words, you know, I mean, you're talking 10, 15 businesses have been affected, but it's also an embarrassment to the town of Milford. I mean, yeah. so. And I don't, like, don't want to get on any of this. I don't so either because just, they got enough to be embarrassed about. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. I don't need to call anything else out. But <laughs> anyway, Wall Service Center, you can get to our business. You can get to Wall Service Quit Center. It now. It's uh you know it's and it's not terrible to get to you just It's might not to, terrible. There's a flag yeah. person out there during yep. the day. You exactly. may see people driving down the sidewalk and not on the road. That I mean, had happened one time. That right. Once, yeah. Well, that's the only For one sure. you got on video. That's uh, yeah, we've got video evidence of that one, none of the others. <laughs> but we, you know, so we oh. are open still, so uh you know, even after four summers, three summers I guess of construction right. then. Uh coming up on the You got to get your boys out there with a lemonade stand. Man. As slow as the traffic's moving. Yeah. All right. So anyway, Wall Service Center, good quality service, quality yep. parts. Your boys are running the place. 
They're the fourth generation. Colin and Jonathan, yep. Colin and Jonathan. Colin and Jonathan yep. are there, turning wrenches, doing a good job. And um, when are you open? Monday through Friday? 7.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. Okay. Uh, so you can stop in at those times to schedule an appointment or just stop in, you know. And, and sometimes we're able to take walk-ins. Um, you know, we do stay pretty busy, but, you know, there are times when you can just come in if you're just driving through and say, you know what, I need an oil changer. I need somebody to check something out. Just give us a try. Stop in. If not, you can give us a call, 422-302-422-8110. Look at that, 325 tag. Really? Uh, Who is that? Walls Service Center, downtown Belfort. You go to wallservicecenter.com. You can actually schedule an appointment there. We have lots of people uh, use that to schedule an appointment. We'll get them over the weekend most of the time, and uh, then we'll have to get back to them, you know, uh, Monday morning first thing. So uh, Right. So use that, wallservicecenter.com, use that uh, option to schedule an appointment, and uh, we can we can get back to you on that. But anyway, uh, does Pete know this guy? No. No. Okay. What but anyway, vehicle? It is a Durango. Huh. Durango. We'll figure it out in a minute. We'll figure it out when they get out and come in. Right. All right, so, so Wall Service Center, downtown Milford, we've been there for 66 years, Jim. 66 years we've been in business at Wall Service Center. How far back do you remember? Childhood? I remember I remember back the early 80s. Okay. So I was born in 74. Is that so. when you used to ride the lift like it was being at the... That was a little later than that. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, okay. it was the, one of the electric lifts I used to ride. And oh, really? The other ones used to be hydraulic lifts. Okay. All hydraulic. Did you ever have the ones that were like coming out of the floor? That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then you did away hydraulic. with them and got the other kind? Exactly. And we've got the, uh, the electric... Electric over hydraulic, they call it. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go to one more thing. I had somebody recently, and I forgot who it was, that used the free towing option. Okay? It's oh, Jay, yeah. Jay yeah. Dentino. All right. So, anyway, um, what was I getting ready to say? Somebody I had somebody the, recently yes. tell me they had a breakdown or some kind of a problem, and they weren't even in the area, and they used that. They right. used yep. that, in other words, and they were very happy with it. So when you get an oil change at Wall Service Center, uh-huh. okay, you get this as a gift, more an added value bonus. Free roadside assist. So it's an right. AC Delco thing. So we are an AC Delco dealer. We're an AC Delco shop. So as part of this, you get this free roadside assistance. Right. And uh, we do get the top tier when there's other ones available, but we buy the best one that you know we, to be associated with. And what that does is that gives you free towing. Okay. That gives you... Uh, uh, free roadside assistance is what okay. it is, which includes towing. If you lock your keys in your car, uh, if uh, if you run out of gas, or if right. you need a jump start, things like that, that will take care of it. And we have people use. So you you know somebody that uses. Just, and I can't remember who, but they were somewhere else, and they used the free towing to be towed somewhere. Oh, to be towed like in another state or yeah, another but area. I can't okay. remember who it was. But they were See? they were very happy. In other words, Good. and and I've got more and more people, you know, even family members that mm-hmm. are dealing with you because um, a lot of people don't realize you can get your oil changed anywhere, but you can't get it changed like Walls does it anywhere except yep. for Walls. As you guys check things over, we do. You yep. go the extra mile. It doesn't cost any extra for this. It's just something you believe in. You know, you have a mindset of, look, you've took the time to get your vehicle here. You've took the time to let us get it on the lift. Well, here's the other thing. So with these newer cars, your oil changes are spaced further yeah. apart. Yeah, 8,000, 9,000 And miles. so that's less and less that you've got somebody looking at your belts, your hoses, your tires, right. and those things. So when it's in there, let's do a thorough, che- thorough check of it and make sure, you know, everything right. looks good. Because we do find things that some people might be surprised about. You know, oh, right. your tire's wearing on the inside, so that means, you know, there's something going on with the front end or suspension or something right. like that. So, yeah, yeah right. those are those are things. It's not like a contest really at Walls is to see how fast we can do an oil change to no. get you in the no, door and out the door. But it doesn't take long to do it. You know, no, we do, right, because you're experienced. You're looking at it. Well, you and know? We've, got this, we've got this list that we're going right. by. So we've got it right there. So we know what we're looking for. And we know what you know what we're doing with it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, WallServiceCenter.com, downtown Milford, 302-422-8110. All right. It's hard radio? to stay focused here this morning. Are we on the radio or what's going on? No, we off. are okay. on the radio. We're on Fine Day 1023. Jim. Fine Day 1023. That's on our Delaware radio 1059 station. right now, but we right. are. Yeah. If you want to see who owns fine day radio we're sitting right here <laughs> right okay if you want to advertise check wikipedia it says yeah. it on wikipedia. oh that's right we're, we're on wikipedia, wikipedia now yeah. yep i remember that yeah but um also if you want to advertise or you want to yes. physically join us in person on one of our live shows yeah. or you want us to broadcast from your event okay give me a call jim weller 302 542 
nine one five seven. Okay, you see I Robbie hear, just made an appearance back I'm there. I'm not that, sure. Was that Robbie? Head. Yeah. All right. It was. So we are back on all the radio stations. All right. So this I'll see show. You. Thank you. Thank you. People say. How big is your audience? I have no idea. I have never weighed anybody in this room, okay? But I have I have a sizable audience, okay? But I don't know how much anybody weighs. I don't know how many numbers we have. I know this much, that we are on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We are on TV Del Marva. We are on two radio stations. It doesn't get much better now. Jerry's Lawn Care. Let me brag on Jerry for just a minute, okay? Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. This is a sponsor segment, all right? So Jerry cuts the grass at Weller's in Bridgeville, and it makes Mike and Chuck so happy that Jerry does it because they don't have to worry about it anymore. We tried to do it ourselves, and it didn't quite work out. Nobody does it like Jerry's team. So if you own a business or your home, you need some grass cutting this year, you're trying to figure out who's going to do it, anybody but you. Jerry does it. If you got some tree work, I just had a couple trees cut down. I talked to him a couple days later. He's right there. They're on the ground. He's cutting them up. He leaves some there for the gentleman that lives there. Did a great job. Took the rest of it away. And then we realized how rotten the tree really was, in other words. So uh, once you see the inside, you're amazed. So mulch, it's the time of year people are putting mulch down. If you don't feel like buying it in bags and putting it in your car and carting it home, and you want somebody to just bring a bunch of mulch to your house you call jerry and he can deliver it right to your yard and i i don't know if he spreads it he probably would spread it but he for us he dumps it in a pile so anyway it's jerry's lawn and tree care tree work pavers irrigation systems lot clearing whatever you may need done you give jerry a call and he'll tell you whether he can do it or not his prices are fair but beyond a good fair price he gets the job done and that is priceless Nowadays, you ever called somebody and they don't come back or they get started and don't come back? It's not Jerry, okay? He gets it done and he moves on. 302 363 6025. 302 363 6025. JLC LLC.com and like his Facebook page too. Linda's ready for a picture. Mike, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Is it fair to say that you are tickled to death that Jerry Santoro cuts the grass at Bridgeville? That is the understatement of the day. Yep, you guys like dealing with him. And so. his, the crew he had last year and the year before, just great Phenomenal. great kids. Yeah, for, yep. hard workers. I call them kids. Yeah. Young All men. All right, so what does hard Mike work. want to talk about, about uh, Wellers today? Everything, everything. Okay. Uh, it's a fantastic day. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Is and, that today? Well, it's technically tomorrow. Okay. But uh, I didn't wear anything green. today is worried. the official spring equinox. Is it really? So we had exactly 12 hours of daylight and exactly 12 hours of nighttime. Really? So, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, from here, it's all downhill. Right. We get in a minute or two every day of more sunshine. All right. And we well, had good. some beautiful sunshine this week. Yeah. And we had some great customers. Excellent. We always Excellent. have great customers, even uh, on rainy days. Of course. Of course. So, so uh, what? The trailers are picking up, definitely. The, the folks are coming out. People are uh, getting their boats and golf carts and everything ready for their campgrounds. And I forgot we had boat trailers. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, boat trailers. and We even have a boat for sale. <laughs> That's <laughs> A true. big boat. So uh, Jimmy does. Um, I notice a lot of vendor trailers are coming in. Yes, yes. Okay, and we have a lot on order, too. We do have a Special lot on order. Special orders. And some are going to have uh, what we call the plumbing package. So they'll okay. have all the separate sinks that are necessary for uh, food concession. A hot water heater to heat the yeah. water. has like a water pump in it, tanks underneath it. I think it. they have to have four sinks. Yeah. So there's a wash, a rinse, a hand washing, I don't know. Right. But, you know, all the, the necessary sinks, of course, electricity and lights and uh, easy to clean walls. We put extra height. Yeah, they have aluminum walls, rubber yeah. floor, right, yeah. aluminum ceiling. So. so we just sold one to uh, a state agency, and they're going to use it uh, not for food, but for tickets and sell, uh, selling lottery tickets. And it had an electric awning on it, uh, it and just that beautiful. thing. Yeah, it was beautiful. like turnkey. It was ready to go. So we got carports on sale this month. Oh, I forgot that. And yeah. uh, so, like I said, uh, people are. Getting their boats out for the season and golf carts, lawn and mowers, lawn mowers, and it's a great, great time to get protection. Buy a trailer, yeah. Buy and a trailer and a carport. 
the GPS tracking devices. Yep, Galio. Uh, a week or two ago. Didn't somebody come and buy one and turn right around, come back, bought five more? Oh, yep, five so more, yeah. So we have them in bulk. Somebody asked me that. Do we have more than one or two in stock? Yes. We do. You can yes. buy five or ten if you wanted to. Absolutely. Right. We, I, I know of some municipalities that are thinking about buying some to put on their equipment. town vehicles yeah. Oh, yeah. and equipment. Yeah, yeah. So if the guy turns his back and the zero turn disappears, they can find it quickly without involving a lot of people. Push of a button. Correct. So how it works is it's a little device, a little bigger than a cell phone. Yeah. You know, and you mount it on your piece of equipment somewhere. It's very non-conspicuous. Is right. that fair to say? Yep, yep. So you mount it on your piece of equipment. The minute that piece of equipment moves an inch or more... <laughs> You get a notification on your cell phone. It's an app that you load. The monitoring is only $2 a month. Some people think it's $15, $20 a month. It's $2 a month. Yep. And the device is at $275. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, you got a $30,000 tractor or a $15,000 zero turn or a $12,000 golf cart, (laughs) you know, or a trailer. I mean, that's what we got into it, but everybody and their brother. But I know some business people that are getting ready to put them on their vehicles. And I know a couple different towns that have reached out and said, I think we might want to put them on some of our town vehicles. It also tells you, not that you need to know, it tells you where your employees are with your equipment. Right. And whether it's moving or sitting still. And if you had a big facility, you could set up a perimeter and so if it moves within the perimeter, you don't bother. get notification. Okay. It's only if it crosses that invisible barrier, right. then you would get notification. So a lot of nice little features on that thing. But Battery mostly, life is three to five years. Yeah. 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 So it's a very, very, very affordable. I mean, it's, it's cheap. It's cheaper than the seat on most pieces of equipment. <laughs> $275, you can't buy a tractor seat for that. That's so, true. That's you true. You know, so it's cheaper than the seat, but it, it doesn't prevent it from being stolen or moved mm-hmm. it per, it tells you where it's at is what it does you know because stolen doesn't mean that it's really gone it just means somebody's using it right now you all want right. to talk about the one day special oh oh that's today isn't yeah it? okay but, yes go ahead all right we have a one day special today today what's the date I saturday the date. march 16th, 16th yep. 2024 okay any trailer Brand new trailer that's bought that has a ramp gate. Yep, like a landscaper type trailer. Right, right exactly. As a long free as free spare tire and wheel. As long as it's not it's not two deals. If it's already on sale, right, of course. Right, but if it's if it's not on sale, All right, right. But if it's already been reduced on sale with an end date, like in a guide ad, then that trailer doesn't also qualify for this. And those trailers that are on sale, the, the savings more than pays for, for the a spare. spare tire. But a spare is $180, $190. Yeah, your for, average a, for a five lug, yeah. Yeah, 15 inch. But yeah. if, it, if it's got 16 inch, you still get a free spare. Right. You know, um, so a free spare tire and wheel today and today only on any new trailer that's not already on sale in another ad. Correct. Right. Not to be used with any other discounts, right. I guess. So. One discount per, per deal. Right. <laughs> but one would be an example. We've got a 5x8 landscape trailer for $947. Yep. So you can buy that trailer for $947, and you get a free spare tire and wheel. Yeah. You know, so. so. Just think about the, the aggravation. Oh, the I'm trying to and find a... Here's yeah, the bigger being worry. Being stuck on the hot side of the highway. or You right. got your motorcycle on the trailer. You got your lawnmower on the trailer. You bought a single axle trailer. Two tires. Now one's flat. No spare. What do you do? Right. Do you stay with your trailer? Or do you leave your equipment and your trailer alongside the road? And to compound That's a it, tough call. If you decide to leave it and you did not buy a $60 tongue lock. Or a GPS tracking or device. Or a GPS tracking device. Where will your stuff be when you get back? Right, right. People do not think about that. You know, Not that? until they're in crisis. Right, they're now. calling us from alongside the road like, I don't want to leave my trailer. Right. Do you but deliver? I got to go get a spare because I didn't buy one when I bought the trailer. Yeah, can you come down and deliver a right, spare to, to me? Right, to Pocomoke. So, <laughs> all right, Mike, all I'm right. going to let you. What's the phone numbers? 302-337-8228. Wellers.com. Good, friendly sales staff. That's our big claim to fame. Well, we have tons of inventory. We're conveniently located, and we got a friendly, knowledgeable sales staff. 8 to 2 today. Eight come to on today. down. Be there. See Mike. All right. See you. All right. See you, Mike. Thank you.
All right, here she comes, everybody. I'm going to talk about Chick-fil-A in the meantime. Chick-fil-A is another great sponsor of the show. So Chick-fil-A, thank you, thank you, thank you for sponsoring Weller Does Del Marva. And uh, we appreciate them. And uh, we were at Chick-fil-A late last night. In other words, uh, we uh, had a birthday celebration, right? We did. And then we were looking for a place to go get some... To, to celebrate afterwards, to get some ice cream. We went to Dairy Queen. Went to Dairy they Queen. They kind of, they didn't run us off. They just made it clear, you cannot eat inside this building right. at this they time. Right, they had the dining room all clean. Right. Did they they want to like, redo it. You correct. Know? So I totally was, got it. I got it. Okay, so we ended up going to Chick-fil-A, and they, they were, were very accommodating. Yes, they were. Okay. Relax, Denise. Okay. Am I tense? Not yet. Okay. All right. I'll get you tense here in a minute. All right. So anyway, Chick-fil-A, thank you. Uh, if you need a gift card for some event, if you um, are hungry, um, I actually ate breakfast at Chick-fil-A yesterday. I forgot about that. Wow. I never knew yep. you did that. Well, I was with Jenny and Kim. It was uh, a, a day of running around with my daughters. Okay. They're fun to run around with. They are. Chick-fil-A. Well, you joined up with us. I did. Got yourself a hot pink jacket. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring it today, did you? No, I did not. Oh, not Denise has it. To wear it. Oh, yet. my gosh. You talk about a good salesperson. <laughs> Whoever talked her into buying that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> are you smiling pretty? <laughs> okay. All right. I have to start by saying... Thank you so much for the birthday party. You're welcome. They gave all the credit to Denise. Okay. okay? That was nice. But my right. children had a lot to do with they it, did. too. They did. But okay. we had a surprise birthday party for yeah. me. It was truly a surprise. And I can't believe that you did all that you did. So thank you. Yeah. And, you know, each one of us, you know, my children and me, we all had different gifts and we all added to it. Like we did what we knew how to do and we did it well and it all came together good. And that's why we're called the Wellers. Yeah. We did it well. <laughs> we did the it well. The Wellers did it well. And you have right. some wonderful friends. Oh, I do. I mean, you truly had to feel loved. I did. Yeah. I don't any longer, but I did. Really? No, I'm What's kidding. that mean? I'm just... <laughs> No, it was a wonderful, okay. wonderful event. I got some nice gifts, some cards. Just the fact that people showed up. That's in what other I'm words, thinking. Just that they showed up would have been enough. Yeah. Yep. So um, thank you. You're welcome. You did a good job. Yeah. Now, I so, don't ever want anything like that. You don't for sure. No, I'm definitely. You say it. Are well, you first sure? of all, you couldn't even get that many people that know me. Okay? Oh, I could. So, <laughs> oh, but, um, more people know you But no, I'm not a think. party person, so I'm okay. good. Okay. All right. Well, then we will take your birthday party and make it my 70th. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like them, so. All right. all right. So anyway, how are you doing today? Doing okay. You are looking forward to doing nothing but yard work today, oh, aren't you? Oh, man, I just love yard work. Everybody nips at her time, in they other do. words, and me included. Yeah, and that's it. but it's not as nice a day as it was last week or this right. past week, right. you know. But either way, I'm not going to bother you today. No? Okay. I'm not going to ask you if you want to go to Wilson's or anything. No, I'm going to go do paperwork today. So okay. I'll be, I will be out of your way. Your lawnmower's back. I know. I've already used it. You know, not many people miss their zero turn. I do. I miss my... Well, even the she push She said, mower. even if I just had the push mower. If I just had the push so, mower. But um, Curlin's did a great job for us, and yep. they pick it up every year and bring it back and service it, and we're tickled to death, right? We are. We are. I am. Happy All right. Um, so what else do you want to talk about? You going to join me on Wednesdays? Yeah, I guess I'm going to try Ooh, to do did that. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Wednesdays is totally different than Saturdays. Okay, they are. Yeah. It's, they are. It's, um, well, Linda's not going to be there this Wednesday. It's the time. It's the time Ten because noon. you can oh, run over on We here. have to be careful, too, oh, what we yeah. say. That's okay. right. Okay. okay. We do a show on Wednesdays from 10 to noon at the Golden Eagle Diner. Okay? And we'll every moment that. is accounted for. Yes, ma'am. Like, things run from, you know, um, 9 o three to nine oh seven and you have to be right. done at nine oh seven yes, exactly and it's here just, it's loosey goosey. Yeah I find it stressful. This okay. is nice but All yeah right. but well, I'm either gonna, way I'm we're gonna, gonna need you this Wednesday. I'm gonna give it okay. a shot. Yeah. All right. Because Linda, Linda's not gonna be there. No so. she's she's going to the Bahamas for two weeks. So I am going to... Um, you got it all, baby. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> panicking already. <laughs> you don't have to do any posts, okay? Okay. Just take the picture. Okay. Just take I, the picture. I don't know how she writes it. And I got it. Linda is, 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 is multi-talented. Right. You are, I too. I can take notes and then go home and do it where then I I'm going to let you do that. I'll okay. let you do that. I can that. do that. Okay. All right. So let's not get off on that, okay? okay? So today, you've got the day 
kind of to yourself, all right? Kind of. Do we, are we going to leave here and go walk the boardwalk, or would you rather not? Well, um, I don't know, especially since I usually leave before you. Okay, that's go. a great, that's fine. That's a good enough answer. Okay. I was willing to go walk the boardwalk. I know, I and, but it's not a nice day. So then that's fine know. with me. No argument here, okay? okay. But I may right. go walk my trail. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'll go walk that with you. Tell me when it is, all right? Really? Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay, I want to take up walking, all right? Really? Yes. Don't act so surprised. Next Saturday, next Saturday, you'll be able to testify that I that walked you with you. you walked with me? Yes, okay? Yeah. All right. It's such a simple request. I'm you know? doing it. I'm, it's you know, free. I'm it doesn't do cost it. anything. All it costs is the just a little. The company is great. A little time, you know? Okay. Well, that's fine. I got my walking shoes right in the truck. Okay. Okay? All right. I'm going to do it. Okay. Hold me to it. Okay. All right. What else do you want to talk about? What have we done this week? Lindsay's birthday. Yes. So Lindsay's birthday was Thursday. Yes. This is Jimmy's wife. Yes. Okay, so happy birthday, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Her birthday was Thursday, and yes. we celebrated it last night. Right. Is that right? Yes, because they had something else to do. Okay. All right. So we what went else out have to we dinner. Done this we went week? to Grotto Pizza. We did. You went to another restaurant yesterday, I know. McGlynn's or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I am hanging what? out with you. I eat really well. I really do. <laughs> and, and, and and to you, it's too much. You're it is too, too much. much. Okay. I'm like on food overload. All right. Well, we're not going out for a while. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and we had Jersey Mike's um, at our store the other day for all the staff. That was good. Yeah, that is nice. That is That's nice. That's a nice we little perk. We do that every do. once a month or something. We mm -hmm. buy everybody lunch. Yeah. Um, what else have we done this week? I can't even. Remember, I know it's you been took like a friend to the hospital. Yes, I took that's a nice thing the hospital does now. It might have started maybe during COVID, okay. but you know how you used to take somebody to the hospital and you sit there and wait for them oh, oh, through no the doubt. operation and then um, come you out. No idea what's happening, right? So, um, I took a friend to a hospital, she was having um, gallbladder removed okay. or something. And um, so they said it was going to be like a five hour, five or six hours or whatever. Okay. So instead they said, give me your number <coughs> and we will keep you updated every step of the way and you can just go home. And, okay. and so that's what they did. And I got called like by the nurse that seen her first and then the anesthesiologist and then the doctor and then the nurse that was taking care of her after the operation. They all gave me a call. I knew what was going on. And then... Um, when it was time to pick her up, I went and picked her up, and it was great. Yeah, and then I stayed with her at the house a little while, and so anyway, it was right. it was nice. You've had a very productive week. Yeah. My birthday was Tuesday. Yeah. We had the other party on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So I'm you really, can have today off. Don't yeah. even answer your telephone. I'm learning okay? to be a people person, which you is are. what I'm not. I've I always know. been a little self-absorbed just with my house. And, and you my like yard. animals. And my you can animals. always put them yeah. in the kennel. I can always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're getting on your I, nerves. I do stop for stray animals and stuff. Right. You know, it's hard to... It's people. It's hard to, you know... It's the people. It's the that, people to stop for. Okay. And it's not that there's anything wrong with them. Not I at just, all. I just don't know how to interact with them. That's but okay. I'm learning, so I'm growing up. You're doing up. a great job. We're all doing things we we maybe yes. wouldn't do if we We're had our We're getting ready to buy a lot course. of properties, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not me either, you know? I'm getting ready to buy like four or five properties all at one time. And he gets We're, all excited about it. I am it. excited, by golly. Oh gosh, how much more can you take? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know we had to think about that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That would be like me. Just What's keep, the timer say? Just keep bringing puppies home. And I just say, oh, I oh, love them. Oh, it's different. Then, then puppies ain't going to make us no money. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. All right. Do you mind if I allow you to do something else? Yeah, I'm leaving. She hates it when I say I'm going to let you go. Yeah, so I'm not going to let you go. Uh, that sounds a little rough. I'm going to just let you do something different now, okay? okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. Can you see if you can get Jay Dentino over here? Jay Dentino. Oh, that was him that came in. Yes. Can you come over here real quick? Get is, out of the way, Denise. Yes, yes, yes. You do not need to say that out loud. Yep. Jay Dentino. Can you come over for a minute? Well, talk to me publicly. All right. All right. Jay Dantino's coming over right here if you could, if you don't mind. Have a seat. As long as nobody eats my breakfast. Nobody's going to eat your breakfast. All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. You good? Jay Dantino, everybody. Smile pretty right there. <laughs> good morning. How are you, young man? Oh. Just lovely. Okay. You're, you're 
I'm glad I could come down here because I live right up here at Spring Lake. Well, I'm glad you did come down yeah, here. Yeah, I am too. What'd you order for breakfast? Uh, Sausage gravy over toast. Okay. And this young lady says, do you want to sit here? And I said, yeah, I'll sit here. Okay, well, good. Well, that's very nice. So uh, thanks for coming. Well, yeah. You going to hang out with us till the end? I am. Okay. Well, then I'm going to say thank you for coming. Anything? Well, what? Boy, look at me. That? <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at your hair? Look at the woman in the background looking at you. Yeah, look look at her in the window. <laughs> She's like, who is that? Look at my hair, Jay. <laughs> Keep I guess, looking. It looks like I just I got old overnight. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I thought it happened over 55 years. Uh, I'll be 70 this 70 in January. That's All hard right. to believe. It is. Well, thank you for coming. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Uh, you are awesome. Look at what it says. I'm trying. Yeah. It's that little sign right there. Well, I'm telling you, Jim, you got it. You got it made. <laughs> I ain't got it made. Oh, I'm still making you. it. <laughs> Well, there's more to be made. At least you know that. <laughs> well, you know, you know, my grandfather owned Funland at one time, right, years ago. And I guess we grew up and we had businesses. And and my father and we were still in growing up. If there's a dollar to be made, go get it. No ifs, right. ands, or buts. Right. Don't burden anybody else with that. Yeah. Go get it yourself. Well, just so I ended up back in the uh, during the late eight, I was delivering pizza for Grottos. Really, on a bicycle or no, walking? Or they had pickup trucks back then. Okay. And I walk into a, late at night. I walk into some place, and they go, "You're Jay Dantino." I go, "Yeah." <laughs> and they said, uh, "We don't know what to tip you." And I says, "Well." Tip me what you would tip anybody else, but if you feel that bad, don't worry about it. But Jim, I gotta say, you'd be surprised. One, one thirty, two o'clock in the morning, where you walk in an apartment, and there was a man and woman there that really? shouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know them? Yes. I said, uh, oh, the one was from Milford. Okay. Anyway, and she says, Jay, <laughs> and she just never. And they were, they were in a. They were on a tent. They were on a beach yeah, right. along the beach at Lewis. Okay. And at one of those near the ferry. All right. Well, maybe somebody was somebody's accountant and they were counting something. <laughs> <laughs> they were counting the good times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jay. I'm okay. going to let you go. All right, buddy. Thank you. Well, thanks all right. For take care. Over. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. There he goes, everybody. Jay Dentino. Thank you. All right, what else is going on? We're sitting right inside, right, I'm talking inside, right inside the Sunrise Restaurant. And breakfast is so quick here, you wouldn't believe it. It's not fast food. It's good food fast, okay? Whether you want um, eggs, whether you want a BLT, maybe you want a cheesesteak. Denny, did you guys order a cheesesteak over there yet today? Not, oh, they're going to take it with them, okay? They take one with them every week. So anyway, you can dine in. You can take it with you. Whatever you want to do, we're at Sunrise Restaurant. Real quick, I want to just brag on my accountant. I've been working him over this week, Luff and Associates. Uh, this is a sponsor segment. Um, I appreciate them. They do my taxes. They do all my bookkeeping. They help me out. My daughter, Jenny, gets it all together, and then they take it to Luff and Associates. So if you need an accountant to help you with your business taxes, give them a call. Milford, Dover, and Rehoboth, one Phone number 302-422-9699, LuffCPAs.com, okay? Luff and Associates, thank you very much, George and Tyler, for all your help. We're taking a break from the Delaware 105.9 audience. Switch over right now to Jim Weller on Facebook. All right, so we're going to talk about our radio station, which is Fine Day Radio 102.3. And we have had a really nice outpouring of people in New Jersey showing an we interest have, in yes. getting involved. I did one Facebook post, got over 100 replies, and we've got people lined up to be on the show. We had a guy the other day on the show from Washington, right? Yes, D.C. D.C., Washington, yep. D.C. Yep. So we're we're reaching out there. So what we're saying we did, is Dan if Mullins. Dan Mullins. And yep. uh, he was an insurance man. And uh, he did yeah. a, He was so organized he was. that he mailed me a sign in the yep. mail to prop up during his segment. I mean, he, 
he, he is taking advantage of every, every little square. Yeah, I admire I, him. I do too. That's my kind of guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He said, "Yeah, hold this sign up and when you're on 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 camera." His interview was very good too. So if you want to see that, go yeah. to uh, Fine Day Radio, Fine Day 1023's uh, Facebook Facebook page. Yeah, and look at last Wednesday, this past Wednesday, about ten to noon. Ten to noon. Yep, okay. it was a so really about, good interview. That would be and, uh, about an hour and. 50 minutes in. He was it. out of, at 11.30, yep. Yeah. 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 So about an hour and a half yeah. into so it. So yeah. we've had a real yeah. outpouring. So we're now scheduled into August, which is kind of cool. It's yeah. kind of cool. But we got people that got stuff in April, May, and June saying August ain't going to work. So right. we're trying to figure out how to get more things on the air as we as we move along. So right. if you're out there and you ever want to be on this Saturday show or the Wednesday show, get up with me. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes you could pay us. If uh, if we're real full, maybe if you pay us enough, we'll move people around. It's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, but I, would, anyway. I will say that the the Wednesday show has a little more flexibility. It does than the Saturday show because you yep. know our book really far out on the Saturday. Saturday, yeah. And and we can move things around on the Wednesday show. We can tighten some things up. Right. And, and that so yes, if you want to get on on Wednesday, get up with Jim directly. How do Please, they get up 302 with you? Please three zero two five four two nine one five seven three zero two five four two nine one five seven. It's my cell phone. Text me, call me, whatever, mm -hmm. and I'll get back to you. It might take me a day or two, but I will. I promise, get back to you. Okay. Um, what else is going on, Colin? Well, you know, we had, we had talked about, you know, we're going to get this van. We've got a van, actually. Right. And we just got to do a few things it. to it. We're going to wrap it. Uh, we're going to have a uh, Fine Day 1023 logo on mm -hmm. it. And, you know, it's going to look really nice. We're going to go park it at places. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, neat. We can leave be... all our equipment in it just on the ride, not overnight. That's right. It won't be sitting in there overnight. <laughs> oh, I know what you all were thinking. I know it. I could, see, I could read their mind. So we got our new transmitter hooked up. New transmitter is all hooked up. It's working really well. And really that is a well. load off my mind. It is. That tube transmitter so, right. off the air and not have to so worry about it. So we have two constantly. old transmitters for sale to the yeah, top. Right. right. We got two of right. them. They're a match pair. Yep. So you can Might broadcast in stereo. They could need a little work. But we know where you can get a tube. One of them we, tubes. That's right. He's that's got right. four of them right on the Is shelf, brand four? new. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He pointed right to them. Yeah. I should have asked how much they are. I'm just curious. Yeah. You know. So anyway, um, and you can't get tube transmitters just anywhere. Okay. These are rare. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, every, not anybody wants them. We're looking forward to our electric bill going down, too. Uh, for I sure. Yeah. I think so. he said... It's, he said it's either going to go down by 30% or it's going to be 30% of what it was. Okay. I'm hoping he said it's going to be 30% of what it was. Right. And then I hope it's actually. And I'm hoping that. the other people get their electric hooked up on their own account, too. Oh, uh, yeah. There's yeah. another transmitter in the building. we got a dime from them. It's not, not yet. like they're paying us every month. And right. But we month. remind them once a month. But, we'll but get it's there. a whole bunch of paperwork to fill out because then we've got to become a vendor at that point. Right. Right. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. I had to fill out but some I kind think, of a form. I think vendors, electric vendors, will cut you off if you haven't paid in several months. Right. But the other people, it's a whole different story. <laughs> yeah. So that would... And, you know, they wanted proof of payment. And so I said, can I just send you last month's bill? And you could see that I paid it. Right. That's not what There's they no want. They want canceled forward. checks. I don't even know if I have canceled checks anymore. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, proof of payment. But you know what? I'm selling a property, and the lawyer that's representing the person that's buying the property yeah. has really asked for paperwork that my accountant said in 40 years of being in business, I've never had somebody ask for this much paperwork. Really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, one of them was, I have, a, I have to be in good standing. I said, what in the your world is in good LLC. standing? I said, I have no yeah. idea what that even means. I said, right. call the sheriff's department and ask them if they got any warrants out for me. <laughs> you know, I'm, I got no unpaid parking tickets. I'm in good standing. Wow. But um, I never, it's been a week of it. And my accountant has really done a good job. And another attorney's helping me. It's, it's been, we've dumped some bucks into getting ready for this oh, thing. On this radio station deal, we figured out. Oh, yeah. We figured oh. out anytime you ask a question. You or can, in emails. You can email. hear that timer. Click, click, click. <laughs> yes. You know, but we also have realized yeah. attorneys, you know, what they're selling is their knowledge and their expertise. Their time. And their time. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, they're so. not selling a starter or an alternator or a trailer right. or a ball or a hitch. Exactly. I got it. I appreciate all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we coming back on? All I right. heard it. I can't right. believe it. I'll see you. Sometime. One more time. I'll be back one, one more time. time. All right. Yeah. Colin Walls, everybody. Walls Service Center, downtown Milford. 
celebrating 66 years of quality service. All right, Dry Zone. Let's brag on Dry Zone real quick, okay? Dry Zone just did a crawl space encapsulation for me. I am so happy. It's another property. So you say, how can you be so pleased with Dry Zone? So this is a sponsor segment. Here's how. I dealt with another crawl space company on my home. And then the heating and air guy came and said, Jim, I can't work on your unit because the it's flooded underneath. I said, it's encapsulated. They said, you're right. And there's water under it and water on top of it. And that is the first time I had Dry Zone do some work for me. They came in, they took out everything the other company did, and they said, can we please do it right? And they know how to do it right. So a lot of people are doing what Dry Zone does. I'm encouraging you, if you're shopping around, to at least let Dry Zone explain to you exactly what they'll do, how they'll do it, and you're going to find them to be very competitive. But more importantly, they have warranties that are transferable. So if I go to sell these properties, I could transfer the warranty. And um, it's kind of nice. So in the event you need anything Dry Zone does, they do foundation repair. They, If you got a, you know, a wet basement, they can put a sump pump in and help you with things there. If you've got a crawl space that needs encapsulating. So they do lots of things. Um, so look up DryZone.com. You'll see a lot of testimonies there, a lot of information about what they do and what they offer, okay? They also own another company that is called Hello Garage, and they can come in, they can do a, a new floor coating in your garage, some different cabinetry and shelving and stuff like that. They're really good at what they do. So it's Dry Zone and Hello Garage, one phone number. I'm going to give you one number. It's 302 302- 684-5034. You should dial it in that order. 302-684-5034. Dryzone.com. Hello Garage. They're both active on Facebook and they'll do a good job for you. And they're always hiring. If you're looking for a career change, they're always hiring. Linda, you ready for the picture? Yep. This man is sporting a new hairdo. Okay. Great. Business is good. He got his hair cut. <laughs> Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good. And uh, you all ready for some warmer weather? I am very much ready. It was probably not a great winter for the heating industry. It uh, it was actually um, it was really good. It was, it was really one good. One of our okay. best winters we've had. I don't okay. know the rhyme or the reason. Okay. It was mild. Okay. Uh, it was wasn't mild. Very very cold, and it didn't stay cold like normal. Uh, but we had a great winter. So I can tell you why. Yeah. You're sitting right here. There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> Weller does no more of it. <laughs> That's right. But you stay busy. Your crew does a good job. Your trucks are lettered. You, you, they got uniforms. I had two of them come to my house recently and do the, um, what's it called? The, the maintenance where they just check things over. And I think that one gentleman was just getting started with you. He was in training and he was good. They both looked things over. They showed me pictures of things. Uh, they went into detail. Um, they were good. They were good. really good. good. You know, and uh, very thorough, uh, very precise, very accurate. I liked it. Now, the one gentleman, is his name Isaiah, maybe? Yeah, there is a gentleman named Isaiah. Yep. He was, he, I, I've, I've interfaced with him numerous times. But um, I've had two or three properties done here recently. What is it called? The service plan, the monthly thing, 20 bucks a month? Yeah, we call it our membership. And so I signed up some properties for that, and that's where you come out. Even my, my tenants have enjoyed interfacing with, with your people, in other words. Uh, one, one guy, I said, I hope he didn't hold you up too long. But anyway, he just he really enjoyed talking to them, in other words. And they pointed out things and showed him some things that were rusting and just things that you don't think of. And so $20 a month, you come out twice a year. About the heating time and about the cooling time. Is Correct. that right? Twice per year. And then um, you check things over. We do. So yeah. we're going to be starting our air conditioning inspections uh, as part of the membership. Uh, I, I believe we're on track to start that uh, somewhere in mid-April. Okay. Um, we are doing some of them already now. We have okay. some customers that like to get started a little bit early. Okay. Uh, but typically we start to be the middle to the end of April. Um, we like to get a little bit warmer weather outside right. so we can really test the air conditioning system in a true environment. Right. Right. So. When needed. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. So you come out twice a year. Um, I guess you check, you, you visually look things over, and then you hook things up, and you check continuity and just how's the fan looking and all that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty the extensive coil. list of things that we do. So uh, the technicians, when they come out to do your maintenance as part of your membership, uh, we actually follow a checklist that okay. they go through. Um, and you can actually get a copy of that if you request it. Oh, really? uh, they go through okay. a list of, of somewhere around 40 check items. So oh, we check wow. all kinds of things on the air conditioning system from voltages to um, amp draws of motors. Um, we check refrigerant in the system to make sure that that looks good. They go over the whole system, make sure it's clean from top to bottom. Um, so it's a very thorough check. It's not just a visual or a tune-up, um, and we do do those as well. But this is more involved, and it really dives deep into the air conditioning system. Because just checking the voltage on the motors and stuff can give you an indication the motor's starting to fail. If of it, course. Right, in of other course. words. So it's, it's almost like a heads-up in the event, you know, there's a breakdown right around the corner. It's kind of like just preventative checking things over. Absolutely, and, you know... Everyone, I think you could agree, would love to know if something is starting to show signs of failure, um, and we're going to bring that up and, and right. make and make your attention to it known. Uh, so that way, when it comes July and August, when it's 90 degrees outside, this won't be a problem, and we can get this taken care of before that becomes an issue. Right. I think that's a wise. And what's nice about it is, is by being in that membership, you also then get priority service in the event you have a breakdown. You do. You do absolutely. You move right Right up the list. A hundred percent. So right. if you call in with no air conditioning and you have a membership with us, um, if there are a bunch of customers that do not have memberships, right. you will get put before them. So you are a priority customer to us and we'll get to you right away. And then when you come out, you don't charge for that service call. That is correct. So we do not charge a service call for your, for us to come out for problems during normal business hours. Right. Um, after hours and weekends, there is a small charge, but it's very reduced and it's not as high as it would be if you did not have a membership with us. And then if I need something done, you come out and yes, there's a problem. I get a discount on the parts and the labor too? Yes, there's a 15% okay. discount on the entire ticket. That is okay. including labor as well as parts. Okay. So it's quite a deal. What is it, $20 a month? $20 per month for the right. first system. Yeah, for um, the first system. If you system. have more than one system, it's $15 additional for each additional system that you have. Okay. Um, we also offer plans on some other items as well. So we have a membership for water heaters, uh, for flushing oh, tanks water heaters. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, very popular. We flush probably, I'd say, somewhere between 15 and 20 water heaters per week. Uh, um, you so mean a regular water heater, the tank should be flushed? So if you or have... Or do you mean the tankless ones? So both. Both. So oh, a okay. tankless should be flushed every year per the manufacturer. Okay. Um, the the internal components of the water heater are quite um, uh, delicate, so you can get a lot of scale buildup, and the water in this area is not of the best quality, especially if you're yeah. on a well. So if you want to prolong the life of the water heater, it's best to flush it every year, and we offer that service. But then one with a tank, what do you do? You drain the tank? We drain them, yes. Really? Yep. I didn't know that was a thought. I yeah. didn't know that. So if you were ever to watch one of our guys drain a water heater, you should see the water that comes out of your water heater when it gets drained. It is very, very nasty. And if, if you use hot water for any type of, you know, potable situation, you would be pretty astounded of what you're what you're using on a daily basis. It's, it's quite nasty. Really? So it prolongs the life of the tank, makes it last longer, um, adds to the overall durability of it for sure. And gives you cleaner water. 100%. So... Because rust is accumulating in the bottom of that tank all the time. It is. It how is. much money is this? Do you know? Yeah. Do you know how much it is to um, come do this? Um, the water heater flushing, uh, I believe it's on. Oh, the really? Brochure. I have a price sheet. Don't know it. Yeah. Let's it's a menu. So. That's $12 per month. Really? Yep. Wow. So for $12 a month, we a come year. out one time per year. Um, they will flush. Hey, go your, on. They'll flush your tankless. Um, so that's included one time per year, and then they also service the water heater, go over all the components, make sure everything's working properly. So it's pretty extensive. It's a nice job. I would agree. It's very affordable. Wow. 
So we also have some other things that we offer as well. Uh, we've got service plans on humidifiers as well as dehumidifiers. Oh, okay. Um, so if you have one of those components in your home, it is crucial to have those serviced as well. There's a lot of moving parts. There's uh, filters that need to be changed, things of that nature. Well, I would agree. I would agree. Nothing worse than having a humidifier and finding out it's not working. I know. Or a dehumidifier, either one, you know, yeah. in other words. Yeah. But um, I have those humidifiers. I like them. They're nice. It's, it's really nice. You know, humidity is one of the most important things in your comfort in your home because humidity is an insulator of the body. So it surrounds you, the moisture does, and it holds the heat into your body. So if the really? humidity in your home is controlled properly, you will feel much more comfortable at lower temperatures than you would with low humidity at a higher temperature. So we always get people that say, I keep the home at 75 degrees and it's very cold in here. I just feel chilly. And we'll go in, we'll do a test of the home, and nine times out of ten, we discover that the humidity in the home is very, very low. So in that case, we'll add a humidifier, and it takes care of that issue and makes them much more comfortable. And the humidifier goes into the system and puts the humidity right through all, every room gets it. It does. Right. It does. It's, so Doesn't it help with your furniture, situation. too? It helps with all kinds of things. So makes your skin not so itchy. Makes your skin not so itchy. It helps with allergies. You it's know, good for your animals. Got, uh, yeah, it's good for animals. It's great for wooden surfaces. Um, you if know, you humidity. have antique furniture. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Wow. It sure is. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's great. So do people call for those kind of services or just go to calltopflight.com? We really leave that up to the customer, whatever okay. is the most convenient for them. You can either call us um, and you can book right through the office, which lots of people prefer to have the you know interaction of right. speaking to someone. Or if you don't prefer to talk, you can go to calltopflight.com. You can book an appointment directly through our website. You can email us. There's many different ways, so we make it easy for you. Okay. Local guy, community guy, uh, family man, and um, just give him a call. Yeah. So 302, I forgot the number, 329-8003. Okay. Yep. Call topflight.com. So I did want to mention one more thing. Okay. We are going to start our very popular tune-up special for the preseason. <sighs> okay. So this is a $99 tune-up. Um, okay. It includes the, t the uh, inspection of your air conditioning system. Okay. So it's $99 for one system to have it serviced. If you have more than one, it's uh, it's going to be 99 for each. Okay. Um, so it's a great offer. That includes coming there? That includes coming. So the total so is 99 $99. You come in and you tune it up. We tune it up. Uh, the guys clean everything. If you have filters on site, they change them for you as well. So okay. it's pretty involved. It's a fantastic deal. Uh, it's a really great value. Excellent. So we're going to be running that through the entire preseason, I believe. Has it started uh, yet? It's it started actually on Monday of, of, of last week. Okay. Um, and it's going to run all the way through April 15th. So it's going to be about a month. Um, tax day. And it's, uh, yeah, tax day. Okay. So it's it's a That's really a popular uh, tune-up offer that we run every year. Right. Um, the spots fill up extremely fast I every single that. year. We do hundreds of them. Uh, so if you're interested and you don't want to do a membership, you're not quite sure. You're on the fence about you know getting into the membership, which I understand. Um, this is a great alternative. Uh, if you haven't had a tune-up done in years, you know many people haven't. Um, this is a great offer. So. Wow, well, I agree. All right, what a great affordable way to just know the condition of things. Absolutely. You know, for 100 bucks, 99 bucks. $99. All right. We good? We're good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a good week. You I like your same. haircut. Thank you. It's a nice, fresh look. All right, it's probably had it a month. All right, everybody. So Ryan Brower, Top Flight Heating and Air. I recommend them. I like dealing with them. All right. Somebody else that I'm happy with is Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning and care. And um, I've had some people, you know, that have used her. And I've got some people that are going to use her for their Airbnbs. So anyway, it's Dawn Kennedy. So if you want your house clean, this is a sponsor segment. If you want your house clean. Uh, she does house cleaning. If you need your uh, camper, like your motorhome or your travel trailer, clean on the inside, she does that. Airbnbs, VRBOs, business offices, she can do that. So if you want something cleaned, if you just can't take it any longer and you need somebody to do some cleaning for you, give Dawn a call. 
Uh, she's very responsive. She'll get back to you. Her phone number is 302 362. Sorry, 302 362. I did it again. 302 362 7064. 302 362 7064. You should dial it in that order. So I'll be there cleaning a care on the Facebook and don't forget discounts to military, first responders, and seniors. Okay. I'm a senior. All right. So with that said, that's I'll be there cleaning and care. Now, what is the next thing we're going to do? We've got more guests coming, more guests coming after 830. We are going to be joined by Robbie the owner, operator of Sunrise Restaurant. And he is going to bring us something to look at, um, some kind of food product. So that'll be a little bit after 8.30. If you are wanting to come down to Sunrise, they're open today. Something interesting they're doing Friday nights and Saturday nights. They open at 9 o'clock and stay open till 3 on Fridays and Saturdays. If you're a night owl, if you um, work somewhere and you get off work, or if you want to get takeout or whatever, Friday and Saturday nights, he's opening late. All right. Uh, let's talk real quick about my chiropractor, Dr. T and Dr. Bud. This is Peninsula Chiropractic Center. Peninsula chiropractic center okay and uh, i love dealing with them there's no question about it everybody knows it so if you need a chiropractor give them a call if you have never in your life been to a chiropractor give them a call whether you, it's for you or your kids or your spouse or your loved ones they uh, accept most insurances and they really do make a difference i can go I took a bad fall, and I was having some shoulder problems. They did some adjustments. It's getting better week by week. I love them, okay? So if you need any chiropractic care, they're very accommodating. You just give them a call, and they'll get you worked in as soon as they can. It's 302-629-4344. 302-629-4344. On the web, it's PeninsulaChiroCenter.com, and they're very active on Facebook. All right? Kevin Short, you got a minute? If he does, Kevin Short is here. He's chit-chatting. He is filling Colin's head with information. So he's like a helium machine. He's filling Colin's head. Uh, now here, he's here to boost my ego. That's what he does for me. All right, let's take a picture. Okay. It's picture time. All right, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How Did you, you have a good week? Yeah, is it over? <laughs> <laughs> what are you ready for next week? <laughs> when does it start? Does next week start tomorrow? Or does uh, next week it's start happening, Monday? man. So uh, you take your pick. Uh, yeah, it's been a good week. Good week. All right, you've been busy. There's lots of stuff going on. Okay. March fifteenth so, was this week. It was yesterday. You know. <laughs> it was. So, yeah. What does that mean? That's tax? Corporate tax day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah I yeah. thought so. In the eyes of March, yeah. Yeah, the eyes of March, all right. <clears throat> so, um, how's... Spent a lot of time on my account this week. Oh, have you really? Well. Man, yeah. I have too. I have too. So, um, anyway, so we're here at the Sunrise Restaurant. Lots of things going on. I notice a lot of people running. Is this where you do your running down in Dewey? <laughs> When or I do run, you do it in private? I don't run often, <laughs> but when I run, I run in Dewey. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it. That's it, right? You figured that out. Yeah, yeah. And, and you usually run with me. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've probably run in Dewey the same amount of time together. Yeah, exactly. Right there on the beach. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, Robbie's got a good crowd this morning. He does. Um, yeah. It's kind of nice. I didn't hear how last night went. He, he, um, oh, I haven't even talked him, to him. Yeah, I have no him. idea. I, have, I haven't talked to him. When I get here in the morning, right. he is getting things done. Yep. You know. Yep. So, anyway. So, lots of things going on. Lots of people coming in. It's Sunrise Restaurant. Uh, do you have a favorite item that you eat here? I got the... Uh, the uh, Jerk chicken? The, 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 no. <laughs> Well, Colin got the ribeye omelet. I got the cheesesteak omelet. Did he put two extra pieces of meat on that omelet? Did he put two little extra pieces of meat on top of that omelet? On Colin. Uh, they're you going. Got, you got the ribeye <laughs> omelet, right? Yeah. yeah. And I got he the brought one out omelet. one day. Yeah. The two yeah. extra the pieces extra piece. of meat. Yeah. They were good. All right. If I had that, that would have been for Pepsi. 
Oh, oh where is yeah. Pepsi? Pepsi's, he's in the. Oh, in the condo next, next door. door. Yeah, door? Yeah, he's in the condo. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Wow. He was excited to come see his brother. Oh, really? Yeah. What? There's another dog over there. No, Robbie. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, Pepsi's got a brother. Yeah. He's got Robbie. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Does Pepsi like to ride, travel? Pepsi went to Baltimore with us on oh. Thursday. I had a doctor's appointment, and we got held up in traffic on the way he home. Didn't it like took, that. It took two hours to get from the from Hopkins to across the Bay Bridge. Wow! Which usually takes about forty-five minutes, and that was a two-hour ride. He got a little head, so he got a little agitated. We were gone for like yeah. He was a little tired of riding. Okay. Yeah. He was. He was fine. You know, okay. It, he didn't complain. He had enough. Yeah. He had enough. He didn't complain. His it, fun yeah. meter was full. <laughs> his his yeah, fun meter yeah. was full. Yeah. Get me home. Get me home. Yeah. When we started the trip, you know, he's looking out the window and everything's excited. all excited. We're back. He's he's on the floor looking up, thinking, "Is this over yet?" <laughs> <laughs> now, does he stay in a kennel or run the house? Uh, he 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 stays. He runs through the house. Okay. Uh, we have a kennel when we're gone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We don't let right. Him run through the house. Right. Has he ever gotten the pool with you? He doesn't. He's not crazy about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not his favorite. He thing. freaks out. You're all. Well, he up thinks he may have to take a bath. <laughs> yeah, I ain't he, doing he, that. He equates, he's not, he equates the pool to taking to a bath. A bath. Okay. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's not totally, subscribing to that. Completely against that. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. good. I got to be honest with you. Pepsi was a blessing to your mom and dad. He was. And he looks like he's been a real blessing to he's, you and Debbie. He's, he hangs with. He hangs with me every day. He's in charge of security at the office. Okay. He's under my desk. All okay. All day. And Does he, he jump his, up when somebody comes in? He sticks or? his head out. If he doesn't like him, he growls at him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And pay attention to that, folks. Yeah. That's your first warning. Yeah. The growl. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. goodness. So, anyway. Well, anything else you wanted to tell me? That's it. No, you sounds like you've been busy. I have been. I have been. I've had a really good week. I had a really good birthday party. I had a really yeah, good I mean, birthday. Had I had fun at your party. And yeah. it was a good party. Thanks for inviting me. And... He had a good bunch of people there. I really did. It yeah. really was. I mean, was. when you looked around the room, there was a good... Yeah. It was a, it was a unique mix. Yes, it was. Yes. It was that. It was yep. a very eclectic mix of people. Yep, I yep. agree. My friends. That's, they all had you in common, which is yep. cool. That's it very is. cool. And, and what I realized in that room, too, is also... I have a great relationship with everybody. In other words, if you're on that list, you know we talk about anything, and you know we have a good relationship. And um, and I like that. I think a good friends are rare, 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 rare. I'm fortunate. I have lots of them. So I saw my chiropractor at your party. I went yeah, to see him nice? right after that. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah, I made an okay. appointment the next day. Was it that tie that got you <laughs> with the spine on it? No, I had a question for him, and he said, "You know, we ought to try this." So I get, I didn't actually call him. I called Doctor Bud, and then made okay. an appointment and. And I'm gonna. I'll be back next week. Peninsula Chiropractic yeah. Center. Yep. You like them? Absolutely. Okay. You've been going there long. Uh, yeah, quite a while. You know, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. Since you were a teenager. No. <laughs> no but I mean, I, you know, I, I've been. It's. I, you know, time flies. Five years. Right. So, okay. Know, it's been a while. Well, good. I like them a lot. Right. Well, how they, long they Dr. pay Bud attention to me. Huh? Um, a while, at least five years. You know what? I started. My appointment was originally with Dr. T, and when I actually had the appointment, it was like Dr. Bud's first week. Really? So whenever that was, was okay. when I started. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I like them both. I like them both. They're good people. So I hear the radio. All right, we're cool. done on uh, 105.9. That audience, my 105.9 audience, switch over to Jim Weller on Facebook, please. I don't want you to miss nothing. Thank you, Kevin. All right, here we go, everybody. We're going to talk to Colin Walls, and he's going to pick the subject, all right? So we're going to chit-chat with Colin Walls, and it's going to be one of three things. One is going to be T-ball sign-up or Little League. One, are you going to be a Little League coach? What are you talking about now? Little League. What about it? Is his microphone on? I can't tell. Uh, it's Little one. Uh, test, test, test. Say yeah. test, test, test. Now my mic is test, on. Test, yeah, test, test. All right. Hey, just all right. checking. So, no, I'm not going to be Little League, league coach. No. You're not going to be? No, but Will, Will, uh, my youngest is son. Playing. Yeah, he plays Little League, and he plays up, you know, does some travel ball. and. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so okay. He's, been, he's a pretty good little ball player. So now Nick plays. Nick's more into soccer. Right. Yep. He likes, yep. more he likes kicking the ball instead of hitting the ball, That's right? That's right, yep. Okay. Yep. They're very so, active. Uh, very active. Yes, very active, and okay. uh, they have a lot of fun. So Will is very, very competitive. Nick just is likes he? having fun. Will is very competitive. I have no idea where he gets that from. Really? Yeah. 
I don't anyway, know. Will is a little miffed that in yeah. school he can only get on Carvana on the internet. Yeah, on Nick, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had it mixed up. Okay. Yeah, Nick, All right. Nick gets on Carvana. So he, right, he looking at cars. He likes to test everything out. So he, he kind of pushes the boundaries a little bit on <laughs> what he can the, do. And when they uh, say you can only go to the sites that it will allow you to go to, well, he tests to see what sites. Right. So he, he can't even to. get to Weller so Does he, Del Marva. Right, maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah. anyway. So, But anyway, hey, uh, Fine Day 1023, we are broadcasting live right here from the Sunrise Restaurant in Huey yep. Beach, Delaware. Yep. And we do this every Saturday. Saturday right here with your show, Jim. Yes, so we do. Well, till May 18th. And then May Robbie 18th, says right. we have to quit taking up so much space so in the you're restaurant. Out of here after that because yep. it gets busy. Here. Look at this though. Every seat is taken. It is. Yeah. Look yep. at that head shining over there. Is that Butch? Yeah, that is. Butch is eating in this morning. Thank you for joining us, Butch. He's we love in. your hairdo. Yeah. <laughs> yep, we see it. We see it. All right, anyway. All right, you two have the same barber. We do. Yes. We went to separate Nine. schools together, too. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is a good little show we've got here. You I know agree. You're here every we've been week doing it over 10 years. Yeah, yeah. That's a long time. You haven't been it? here 10 years. But Not here, this but. This is our second spring here. Is it? I thought it was winter, but either What's way. That? Winter or spring? Well, winter, spring. Winter into spring, okay. I guess. Right. Yeah. So our second yeah. year of being here. I'm optimistic. I like right. to think it's We spring. do need another location uh, starting on May uh, 25th. Yeah. That's right? right. Yeah. Yep. May 25th. Okay. Yep. So uh, so if you're out there and you own a restaurant and you'd like us to pack the place, oh, I can't guarantee that. Uh, in other words, if you would like us to, we average, even at the last couple places, 35 to 45 people steady every week. Uh, you know, but and there have been times this where has been a great Great. Where we've brought in, you know, in addition to your regular customers, we brought in over a hundred. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, hundred so, some people one day. That so, was a lot you know, of people. Those things can happen, and you know, just be prepared for that. I remember. That's right. That's I right. Be prepared. You yeah. are warning them. Right. Be prepared. Like, yep. are you be ready prepared. for this? And, and so it, it happens. So, if yeah. you want to hire me. Hire us. We will come and do Weller Does Del Marva right in the middle of your establishment, yep. okay? Now, we have another show uh, on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yes, it's called Jim Weller Live. Do yep. you know that guy? I do. Okay. Jim. G-Y-M. Jim Weller Live. <laughs> All right. So, you do the show, and we, we are in Seaford, Delaware. We're at the Golden Eagle Diner in Seaford, and um, it's kind of a it's a two-hour show. Yep, 10 to noon. 10 a.m. to noon, and, um, you know, you interview people. It's similar to this show, but yep. a little bit different. Right. It's it's the same but different. All right, it's so, on a different day. Right, it's on a different day. It's on Wednesdays, right. and there's lots of room. And if you don't want to be on the show, it's okay. You can come and just sit in the room with us right. and just have your lunch in that room. Well, we if had you a, want. we had a group come join us. A group of like twelve or fifteen. Correct. Come join us. It was a group Line from one of the senior group. centers. Yeah. yeah. And so they came in. They said we want to be here to see the show. And right, they and, booked it. And right. you actually got them on to talk about I the line did. dancing. So. Line dancing. I haven't right. got around to line dancing yet. Oh okay? yeah. Okay. So. That but anyway, we need to see. huh? We need to see that. Yeah, we need to see that. That needs to be a show. Yeah. Okay. But, but what we're saying is, you're invited to come out and join you know, us. whether you want to talk about something. You know, if you have a business, I'll or try to squeeze like that, you on. Try to squeeze. If you not, in, I'll schedule right. you. Right. Yeah. You know, and and if you want to be a regular part of the show. Yeah. You have a business and you want to talk about your business yeah. or your organization. Get up with Jim, yes. and you can get him on the schedule. And you know, it, there, there's different levels. You know, where you've got to pay for certain things. Well, there's numerous ways, but I yeah. just I had a couple people That's sign up. That's probably the best way. That's the, the four hundred eighty-eight dollar a month. I, I want to say thank you to Morse Roofing. That's our newest customer for signing up, and I've got a couple yeah. other contractors going to be signing yeah. up. So if you are looking for a brand new opportunity to advertise, yeah. we have this special. Four. We're not back on. The radio are we okay four hundred and eighty eight dollars a month you get sixty ads and immediately people say that doesn't make sense that's less than ten dollars an ad it's actually less well, than they're like they're like I don't want the midnight to right, say a.m. Right. and it's not the midnight to <laughs> right. say a.m. it's prime time seven days a week six in the morning till eight at night your ads are over a 30-day period, and yep. you can have up to two separate ads running. Rotating. So if you want one, rotating, right. In other words, if you want one that says help wanted, and uh, whatever you want. So anyway, if you have any questions, call me. I'm going to give you my cell phone number, 302-542-9157. 
But there is something else that comes with that, that that goes along with the Wednesday thing. Yes, every other month. They could be on the Wednesday show for free. Absolutely free. Now, if you just want to buy the Wednesday show, you, you can, can buy a five bucks. minute interview for a hundred bucks. Yep. So if and you, you can own do a that business, every week if you want. If you right, want you can do it every week. Yeah. But if you want to test the waters or you just say, Look, I got something I need to get out right now. Get, get up with me. Chest. Yeah, and I'll squeeze you in. Yeah. A uh, hundred bucks for five minutes. Yeah. So that's Real a good simple. deal. That's a good deal. And we ask that you don't get offended if you get more than sixty Correct. commercials a month. Because right. what we do, we don't we don't run PSAs to fill all of our old time. PSA is a public service announcement. I hear the, the government radio. sends it to you. So we're coming yeah. back home. We can talk about this at another time. Though, call me see. with yes. all your questions. You'll give all okay? the details. Any ideas, any questions, just call me on my cell phone, Jim Weller, 302-542-9157. All right. Okay. Can text at that they can text. Thank you, Colin. Colin, Walls, Walls Service Center, TV Delmarva. We're back. We're live. We're right inside the Sunrise Restaurant. And we're going to talk to Robbie. Robbie, 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 Robbie. Here he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So this is Robbie. Good morning. What? Hold. Oh, you got to hold that up for the picture. And then bring it in the center. And did you get your picture, Linda? Oh, sorry. Oh, she wants... Okay. You got one of me and him? Oh. Okay. Smile pretty. I'm smiling. All right. Now, here we go. So, all right. Tilt it up just a little bit. All right. Okay. What is this? So, this, this is our traditional pancakes, but we've made them a little bit colorful today. They're green. I don't know if you can tell. They're beautiful. Thank you. We've what got some honeydew on, on the side, some green whipped cream, and some honey Green drizzle. whipped cream. How in the Probably world do it. you get green whipped cream? I don't know. They just do it. Really? Yeah. I think it, I think it's imported. Really? I think so. Made by leprechauns? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Leprechaun Union. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is three pancakes. Yes, indeed. What did you call it? What's that out there? We've got some honeydew melon here. Honeydew, okay. And some honey okay. drizzle on top of that. Okay, very good. Some honey and honey. Where's the honey drizzle? Right there. Oh, I you see it. Okay, it's okay. all okay. around okay. the edge there. I just clean. didn't know what honey Certain drizzle looked thing. like. Yeah. Just all right. honey. All right. How much money? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably let it go for uh, eleven ninety five. Twelve bucks, eleven ninety nine. Yeah, something like That's that. That's pretty good. Depends deal. how many pancakes you want. Okay. All right. Well, very good. You know. Available now. Sure. Today only. Sure. Okay. Well, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. good. How? We thought we'd do something a little fun. You know, we don't. I agree. We don't usually go colorful, but right. Something this new this good. year. Yeah. I just realized I've never ordered the pancakes. I need to do that. Oh, you need to. Yes, please. I agree. All right, now, yeah. tell me your normal hours, please. So normal hours, uh, let's see, Wednesday through Monday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then, you know, we're doing late night now. Friday and Saturday. Friday, Saturday, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. All right, and close Tuesdays. Close on Tuesday. All right. Very good. So how has the 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. been working? It's going really well. Really well so far. We're still early in the season, You obviously. don't even look that tired. But No, I'm energized. What time did you go to bed I, last I night? I have five other days of the week I can sleep. It's oh, fine. Okay. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. What a Take great a idea, though. And, and it's done. Yeah. You know? I and see some of our regulars are finding out, and they like the idea as well. Because they can even well. order takeout. Oh, of course. I mean, if you woke up in the middle of the night with a craving for pancakes. We've got you. This is the place to call. Absolutely. What's the phone number here? We're at 302 227 3202. 3202. 227 3202. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else I need to know? Uh, let's see. You can place your order on DoorDash if you DoorDash. didn't want to call it in. Okay. You know, have it delivered or pick it up that way. Either way. Sunrise fine. Restaurant. Yes, indeed. Dewey Beach. You got us. Okay. I'm excited for you. Thank you very much. I think you're doing a great job. I'm really excited. It's been a great turnout so far at night. I agree. It's been wonderful. You're doing good. Yep. And today, all oh right. my gosh, look at all this energy. Oh, I know. It's fantastic. It is. This has been, we've been a good mix, I think, anyway. I think so. I, I think, think so. it's been good for all of yeah, us. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right. This is great. I'm going to leave you. Is that okay? Should I, should I take this with me? Denise, you up for taking this home? 
No, I'm going to I'm going to let you keep it. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm not on diet. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to order pancakes next Saturday morning. All right, that was Robbie. Now our next guest is coming up. So, um, we're going to What was that? It's Chris. Not Matt. Chris? Matt's right down here. Okay. All right, so it's Chris Hammond. The president. All right, now, what else is going on? Have I done all of my sponsor segments? All right, now, we're going to talk to Chris Hammond. I don't know, did you bring anybody else? No. Right. What, did I talk you out of it? No. They, uh, oh, we got so it. many kids got so many activities this year with oh, sports yeah. and everything going on. Uh, our fundraisers manager, Casey, that was coming today, she had some stuff uh, she had to do with the kids. So I said, you go do that, and I'll see if I can do this alone. All right. So here we are. Take our picture. All right, here we go. So, we are talking about the Woodbridge Little League chicken fundraiser. Yes. So, is this where you're going to like get little chicks and you're raising chickens or you're selling chickens? Not quite. That would be interesting, but we're not quite doing that. Okay. So, I've got some flyers actually here for you if you'd like to take back okay. the Wellers. Okay. All right. Um, we're doing the same thing we did last year. We oh, partnered a truck with Alan the Rim. Okay. Yep. They're 40-pound boxes of chicken. All right. Uh, we've got four different cuts. You've got chicken breasts, which are um, skinless bones. Boneless. A lot of people ask about that. They say, Chris, is there skin on the chicken? Is there bone? No, it's skinless, boneless chicken breast. And they have chicken tenderloins, which are basically just the breasts that are cut up into strips. Okay. A lot of people like those as well. So you pick which what you want? Yes. Okay. Yep. You pick which one you want. And the other two you see there are the chicken wings. They're the whole wings. A lot of people will cut them up into party wings, you know. Okay. And uh, they also have the whole chicken legs, which are basically the leg quarters. Now, there's been chicken shortages over the past year or two. Can a person buy a little bit of everything, or what What are their options here? They could. One 40-pound box, but can they buy more than one 40-pound box? Absolutely. You can buy as many boxes as you want. There's no limit? There's no limit. Okay. There's no limit. Um, this is pretty simple. They just scan the QR code. Scan the QR code. And place their order. That's it. Or you can go to woodbridgell.com slash fundraising, and there will be a direct link there as well to buy the chicken. And is this on your Facebook page? Or it is. Somewhere? It's pinned okay. right at the top of our Facebook page. Really? You can miss it. Wow, this yep. is a fundraiser. We need to make some money. This is our biggest fundraiser of the year, the spring fundraiser. We did very well with this last year. We sold 765 cases. I'd like Ooh. to exceed that this year. That sounds like $30,000. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Not, not okay, quite. Okay, that's a pretty good day. But um, right. it's, uh, it's a good fundraiser for the league. we got a lot of projects say. going on right now. Right. Building There's new never fields. enough money. Never. Never right. enough money. Because the so. kids are active and things yeah. break and you need new oh, yeah. and things yeah. wear out. It's just a constant That's thing. right. Yeah. But what a great investment to invest in the kids. Yeah. And the community. That's right. So we got, we got a lot of different things going on right now. Like I said, we have some projects. We're building a new field for the girls right now. Really? Uh, inflation doesn't discriminate. The fence costs, the concrete costs, <laughs> everything's up. So the more chicken we sell, the better. And uh, we want to provide the best little league experience for the kids right in Woodbridge in the western side of Sussex County. Good job. So they order the chicken online, and then they pick it up when and where? April? So the location is to be determined because we do okay. have events that are already at our facility on this day, but we're working with the schools. More than okay. likely, it'll probably be at the ECEC school in Greenwood or possibly the high school in Bridgeville. Yes. It really depends on how much we sell so we can better you know, work the traffic. Okay. So we don't know what that capacity is going to be, but we should have a date real shortly on the pickup. Okay. But yeah, the, the, the uh, sale ends on April the 6th, okay. and uh, the pickup date will be on the 27th. Right, and it'll be close to the Bridgeville area. It's oh, and it'll like be in the Greenway. It'll be in the district. Right, it'll yep. be in the district. Yeah, yep. very good. All right, so do you have other things uh, that want, we want somebody to think? When is sign-up? Okay, so registration closed at 11.59 promptly last Saturday night at okay. the 10th. All right. So. Um, we had a lot of last-minute sign-ups. We actually increased our registration by 100 in the last six days. This wow. year, we exceeded last year. Uh, we're at 276 kids. And uh, our biggest division is the T-ball division, as it always is. Really? Uh, the Little Tots, we've got 55 of them in six teams. So uh, we're, we're looking to build another T-ball field as well. So buy more chicken, we get another right. field. And um, are there signed sponsorships available? There are sponsorships available. So you can, can you get still sponsor a team, or is that too Absolutely, late? and we're still in need of team sponsors right now. I believe okay. right now it's around two or three we need. Okay. So, and uh, if those are filled up and you call in, that's what you wanted to do. You can always do a banner like you 
do. Right. Uh, they have four by eight banners. Right. Three by five banners. There's different prices for the amount of years that you do them. Right. Uh, but there's lots of opportunities to sponsor your business with the Little League. And the banners have a, an added bonus that I realized last year. Not only is your banner out there as people are watching and cheering right. on and so on, as people take pictures of their kids out there, yeah. your banners show up in the you're background. In, you're in the background. You're in the background. Yeah. I was thinking about that. So, All right, this chicken event, we need to get behind it, a 40-pound box. Yeah. If you want it for yourself or you want to buy it to give away, maybe you got employees and you want, or you got a customer, or somebody you just want to give them something, something yeah. useful, that's something right. that's more than just what you gave them, buy a case of chicken, give it away. It helps the Little League. Sure does. And it helps whoever you give it to. Yeah. And and I welcome everybody out. Uh, Friday, April the nineteenth will be opening night. Oh, we'll okay. have game, we'll have games under the lights. We'll have our okay. parade right there in Bridgeville, really? and uh, it'll continue opening weekend through Saturday the twentieth. And what's your role? You're the president. Yes, sir. Okay, that's and, what they uh, tell me anyway. Okay, what do you do for a living? For a living, I'm a single owner operator. I drive a truck for a living. Oh, do you really? Yes, sir. Like a tractor trailer? Or yes, no sir. Truck? Okay, tractor yep. trailer. Okay. I feed chickens. I haul the grain. Oh, really? For the chickens. Okay, very good. <laughs> that's All right. right. Oh, good. Well, thanks for joining me. Was there anything else? I, I think that's about it. Uh, we, we just want to thank all our sponsors and everybody who makes the Woodbridge Little League possible. And uh, like I always say, this year we're working to give the best Little League experience to the kids in Woodbridge. Right. It does make a difference. I've had grandkids go through Little League, you know, and they start out and they can't hit the ball. Eventually they do hit the ball. Then they get concerned with how far they hit the ball. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's great. I, I appreciate all the coaches and their patience and understanding. Because they ain't getting paid nothing, you know? Oh, yeah. And they're just good people that care about it. And so yeah, I, thank I, you to everybody. I tell everybody, it all starts with Little League. You have it travel does. ball and high school ball, and right. it all starts right here in Little League. It really does. Yeah. It really does. So, um, well, thanks a lot. And um, is there everything they need to know is on the Woodbridge Little League's Facebook page? Everything they need is right on the Facebook page, and you can't miss that big billboard in Bridgeville, too. Oh, that's right. That's yep. right. Yeah, I've yep. seen it. Okay. We've got a couple down to the beach as well. Really? Yes, we did. All right. Well, have somebody get me that info. Well, we got we might have time. Let me make a note. I got a billboard. I got two billboards, as a matter of fact. I've lost my ink pen now. By golly, billboard, billboard. All right, I need. I'll have somebody get with somebody. Who should who should I get with? Uh, you can contact our fundraiser manager, Casey Tindall, and I can get that number for you. Just send it to me. Yep, I'll do that. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. I appreciate Happy the opportunity. Yep, you as well. see ya. Thanks for coming to Dewey. Okay. I'll move them along. All right, everybody. What else is going on? So, we're sitting inside the Sunrise Restaurant, and I want to try to find somebody. Sir, would you like to join me? All right. All right, all right. Ma'am? 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 Would you like to join me on the air? You sure? All right. How about her? Breakfast review? All right. All right. Enjoy. All right. I'm trying to find people that want to join me. Are you wanting to join me? Okay. Her. Ask her. Is she up? Oh, it's her birthday. Oh, 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 oh. Come on over. We have a young lady that wants to be on. It's her birthday. I had no idea. Is this Denny's daughter? Is this your granddaughter? Sit down here, young lady. I'm here. Oh my gosh, where do you work? Um, I work at Bay Hill. Okay, man, he is so proud of you. I know he is. Okay, we're gonna take a picture right here. And today is your birthday. It is. Do you mind if we ask how old you are? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Wow. Gosh, another year or two, you'll be able to drink. Right. In other words, right. All right, so what is it like being Denny Carroll's granddaughter? Um, well, I did have to get my ham radio license very young. So, you were required to. Yes, yeah, so I have my full um, ham radio licensing. Okay. But so you talk on the radio to people all over the no, world. No, I have it. I think I've been on there once. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. All I right. just have it to have it. Okay. And you work at Bay Health? Yep. In Milford? Uh, Dover. Dover. I do ultrasound. Do you really? I do. Okay. All right. For like babies or kidneys? Um, or <laughs> Babies. Uh, but we do everything else. So I say we do everything but the heart. Okay. Good. Yep. All right. Where do you live? Georgetown. Okay. So you got a little ride every yeah. day. Yeah. All right. All right. So what else has Denny put you through? Um... 
Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. All right. Do you know that your grandmother loves cheesesteaks? I did. Okay. Yep, she had me try them too. Oh, do you like them? Yep. Okay. So that's pretty cool, would not yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, they're good people, aren't they? They are. They're good. All right. And um, anything else? Are you nervous? No, no. I think I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want us to sing happy birthday to you? You don't have to, but... Well, has anybody done it yet today? Not today, no. All right. You all up for singing happy birthday? Yeah. All right. Guada, lead us off. Happy birthday to you. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis. Happy Alexis. birthday, Alexis. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hey. Thank you. Did you invent the Alexa skill to your grandfather invented that, didn't he? Probably. He probably did. He, does, he invents a lot of stuff. He's very smart. He likes to tinker with things. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you so much. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. All right, I had no idea it was her birthday until he told me, all right? <laughs> all right, folks, so where are we? Well, let's open up the phone lines real quick, but I did want to ask Butch. Butch, Butch, Butch. Does Butch have anything worth listening to? Butch, do you have anything worth saying? Oh, he's up and moving already. I had no idea he had that much zip and drive this early in the morning. Butch, we're going to take a picture real quick. Get your hair straight. Hold on. You ready? Wait a minute. There we go. Does it look okay? All right. Butch, how you doing, buddy? I am doing great, my friend. I hope you all are as well. We are Butch Harmon, correct? Butch Harmon. Harmon. Yes. Where are you from? Rehoboth? Uh, Rehoboth Beach. Okay, a lot of people know you. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, my uh, family's been here probably since the, uh, at least the 1700s, easy. Really? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to a uh, celebration of life to uh, uh, later today for one of my uh, mentors, uh, Sylvester Harmon, out of uh, Millsboro. Really? He, uh, he made it, I believe, to uh, 81 or 82 years old, but uh, a wow. uh, business owner, uh, um, very good mentor, and, uh, and a huge inspiration to a lot of the kids uh, growing up in this uh, area. That he nice. uh, owned his own uh, auto body shop. Really? But, but uh, you know, he's 82 years old, and actually... He, he actually went to North Carolina A&T, came home, worked for DuPont, and then opened his own uh, automotive uh, shop. He was an architecture right. major, but he did auto body, which is great for kids when you're young, you know. Right. And uh, he would actually let us get in the shop and work and taught us really? different things. I'm going to miss him dearly, but he gave me memories that last, last right. a lifetime. But uh, uh, today I just wanted to make a mention about the Cape and Lopen school referendum. I think that uh, folks really need to uh, show up to this last meeting Monday at the Lewis Elementary School. I think it happens at 6 o'clock in the evening. Okay. And uh, you know, the last time I was out there, there was like maybe 10 to 12 citizens that showed up. The rest were all, you know, uh, really? Cape and Lopen school district folks. Okay. And, uh, but we had, we had Russ Huxtable, myself. Sean Lovingguth and uh, then other uh, citizens, but we probably uh, total we were probably like maybe ten to twelve folks. Really? So I would like to see folks show up to that and at least okay. you know. When is uh, it again? Uh, it's uh, Monday, okay. uh, this Monday coming, uh, the eighteenth, and it's um, at six o'clock at the Lewis Elementary School. Okay. Well, very good. So. Um but That's thanks for wanted. having me on. Well, Appreciate thanks for it. coming. All right. Yep. The they place moved your great. food over. You lost your table. <laughs> I did. Right. Well, it's, back. It's, it's all good. It's oh, all it's good. Packed, isn't it? The place is back. Look, yeah. I see Snooky over there, and I, I keep telling Snooky I want to buy a, a, a nice new dirt modified and see there if he's he willing to drive it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> he might be willing. I don't think he's listening. I don't but, know if Pat's going to go for it. Oh, yeah. You've been in that business before, I have, so yeah. you know the deal. <laughs> I agree. See ya. Take, Take care, care, my friend. All right, see ya. Have a good weekend. See ya. You Thank as you. well. Yep, there goes Butch, everybody. All right, so we've got everybody. Um, what else is going on? I don't know what else is going, so I'm going to, I'm going to move along right now. Are you ready to talk? Oh, here she comes. By golly. We're going to be blessed by another young lady that said no in the beginning. So anyway, all right. 
Oh, oh, we have to take our picture right here. All right, ready? All right, now, how do I introduce you? Christine. Okay, Christine. And are you, like, wanting to talk about anything in the fire company, or you want to just talk in general? Just talk in general. All right, so what brings you all the way to Dewey? To you. I see you. You come for the show. I come for the show. Well, I appreciate that. You're Thank you very much. You're I feel welcome. honored that you did. <laughs> all right. Have you been to the show anywhere else or just nope, here? I haven't had time. I have a second job. Oh, okay. So these are the Saturdays that I can make it. And, and unfortunately, you're all the way down here. Okay. So right. I come from Melford to here. Well, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So what do you think of this show? I mean, in other I like words, it's, it's, it's got a lot of energy to it, doesn't it? Has it has a lot of energy. You have a lot of information. Uh -huh. um, I feel it does. Um, it does well for the community. They learn okay. about other um, businesses that are, you know, that are open and, and want people's business, and I, I feel it's really good. Oh. Um, I, I feel you're a very good advocate for okay. all the people that you bring on the show. I mean, I, I just I feel you do a really good job. I think I'm a good cheerleader. You are a very good cheerleader. <laughs> so anyway, well, we appreciate you coming now. Have you had breakfast? I have. Okay. Is What's something you've ate at Sunrise Restaurant you liked? Well, I'm partial to avocado, and okay. a lot of people don't care for avocado, but I like the avocado toast. Okay. And okay. it's St. Patrick's weekend, so I had to have something green. Right. So it right. Was, it was well, that fitting. was good. Okay. <laughs> well, good, good. Do you know Pete? I do. Pete we both okay. work at Bay Health. Okay. Now, I saw Pete. You weren't here early, but he's got this little scooter. Have you ever seen it? I, it's I, got like one wheel in the center. I've, I've only heard about it. Well, early this morning, I seen him riding up and down the road on that thing. He wears his helmet, and um, it's got a headlight on it and a brake light on the back. It's does the he wear his? Thing. Does he wear his uh, wrist, gloves? Wrist, yeah, well, no, wrist, not, wrist splints. Oh, I don't know. He's, I didn't he's had a, a In case he falls? Well, he's had a fall. <laughs> oh, he's had a fall. Okay. Oh, we need a video of that. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, we appreciate Pete. We appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. You're and um, that's all I got. So all thanks right. for joining. Was right. this okay? It was fine. Okay. Just want to make sure. All right. All right. Thank thanks a lot. See you. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. We're going to open the phone real, real, real quick. If there's anybody out there that wants to give us a call from any state in the United States, uh, you are welcome to call 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. We'll give you two gift cards to Vanderwind's Ice Cream if you would like them for free. you got to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week. Call me now. Guada, do you want to have a word? Huh? Oh, she backed down on that one, boy. I've never been shunned before from her. All right. So anyway, 302-422-7336. If you're out there and you're listening and you would like two gift cards to Vanderwind's Ice Cream, please, please, please give me a call and I'll set them aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. Speaking of Weller's in Bridgeville, spe let me switch gears real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, I've already got a lot of properties to look at, but I'm looking to buy some properties. I'm looking to buy some commercial properties, preferably in the Milford, Greenwood, Bridgeville area, Lincoln, um, not much further than that, a commercial building that um, it could be rented or one that I can easily rent. I'm looking to invest some money in some commercial properties that I can pretty much quickly rent to somebody. That's what I'm looking for. It's called a 1031 like kind of exchange, and I've already got a dozen properties I'm thinking about. But if you got something and you want to sell it, you want a quick sale, um, I'm interested in talking to you, okay? 302-542-9157. 302-542-9157 is my cell phone number. If you need me, if you want to call me, if you ever want to be on this show, if you ever want to advertise on this show or my Wednesday show, if you want to hire me to do a broadcast at your business, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I have a large, loyal faithful audience. I have an audience like you can't get anywhere else. I'm on TV. I'm on radio. In fact, I'm on two radio stations. I am on Facebook and I am on YouTube. Okay. Starting my 11th year of doing the show, I have a very faithful loyal following of people that watch and listen to the show. If you were here at the Sunrise Restaurant, every single booth is full. We have every seat in the house taken. So we're done for today with Delaware 105.9. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Have a good weekend. Lawrence, thanks a lot. And we'll see you all next week. All right. So I'm still with my uh, audience on TV Delmarva and Fine Day Radio. 
15 seconds. So fine day radio audience, thank you. TV Del Marva audience, thank you. God bless you. Have a good weekend. If you ever want to be involved with the show, get up with me and we will figure out a way. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. TV. 7931 Hello, hello, hello y feliz sábado. Bienvenidos a Daily Flash Latino, primer fin de semana del mes de noviembre. Can you believe it? Que ya llegamos a noviembre. I know, right? How was your Halloween weekend? 